Welcome to the weekend. Yay, Welcome, Atari. Yay. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, <laughs> where we play new games on classic consoles, and we broadcast at 60 frames a second, so make sure you're watching at 60, or you're going to miss half the action and mm -hmm. half the cats. We only have half the cats right here. Bikini! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Bikini. <laughs> Oh, Thank you for remembering fun. that. Good callback to <laughs> yeah, last episode. Yeah. <laughs> Bikini! What were you trying to say? Ha, ha. Hi! I put Hi? three eyes. Hi with three eyes. Yeah, so and it's just like... as I, uh, with an ex exclamation point, and just as I hit send, yeah. it auto corrected it to bikini. Because it saw the three eyes. I, I think it was the three eyes. It's like, what word has three eyes? Bikini. bikini. Probably so. one of the very few. And, and I laughed out loud because I hit it just as I saw it, and boom. And I'm like, oh my god, that is hilarious. Like, of all the words. I know. Of all the words. Bikini. <laughs> to it, randomly put it, it into the, the chat. It kept the exclamation mark, too. It kept the exclamation mark. So it was a very, Hi, ex Fix. very excited <laughs> bikini. <laughs> it was very funny. And <laughs> you and uh, Erlen's face, you're like, a Bikini? Bikini? <laughs> Odd thing to yell out. That was from yes, last it is. episode. If you were here on Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. Um, so today we're <laughs> going to be playing three games. One is Pro Golf. We have an update for that. You didn't play it last time. No. Um, he's added no, in uh, a two-player two-player option now. Oh, so. cool! So we can go back and forth. Yes. Like same one one controller back and forth. Nope. Two controllers. Two controllers. Yep. Okay. Um, and back and forth. And yeah. back and forth. Play uh, golf. Players don't play at the same time because there would be a lot of ducking and no, no, I get four that. I get that. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have, uh, I have played golf. The once second game once. is uh, <laughs> Mardi Gras, which is uh, exclusive debut. We have a cat making noises. It's a cat. Some cats coming right in. Downstairs. All right, exclusive debut. This has not been released anywhere. It oh. is by uh, Ross Adkin and mm -hmm. Brian Mathern. Oh, nice. AKA Titus Renegade and Arena Foot, who is in the chat today. Nice. And we're going to be going for the patch in Pitfall. And okay. it's uh, fairly easy, I think. The patch? Yeah, yeah but I don't overstate that. Okay. Um, so welcome to everybody in the chat who's joining us live on Twitch. Uh, Mr. Fix, RC7E, I suppose to the game czar, Mr. Fix, Arena Foot, EA Smith 1. Oh, EA Smith, he's with us. He's the guy who made Pro Golf. Excellent. Excellent. So we've got... Uh, both the uh, developers wow, in here. I just need David Crane. <laughs> just need David Crane well, in here for Pitfall. for Pitfall. I doubt he'll uh, come. Yeah. <laughs> he has better things to do. <laughs> uh, did I get everyone? Milton Buddhist, Mr. Fix. I think so. Mm -hmm. And all the people who are just watching and not typing, and all the people who are watching on YouTube afterwards. Lovely. And I want to thank all the subscribers, uh, which is an increasing number, which is great. Charles and Chuck, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Happy Hour, Scum Software, Sir Cat Legs, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, and you can subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime and you just link it to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Mm -hmm. You can support us as well. Um, so, mail, news, and feedback. Um, Albert posted uh, a couple days ago all the games that are going to be released at Portland Retro Gaming Expo this October. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, starts October 18th, runs through Sunday, tw October 20th. And what he usually does is waits till Portland to do the big release of yep. a bunch of for new all games. The Christmas titles. That's right. Yes. All the Christmas titles yep. for buying presents for everyone um and he's so the ones that are going to be released is also going to have demos um the ones in they're going to be released are aardvark these are for 2600 amoeba jump excellent galagon yes. big ones uh, uh jivolver guyvolver mm -hmm. i always forget how to pronounce one. that um we played it uh yeah. a Me? roach in, i don't know about we but okay it was on the show <laughs> A Roach in Space, a very good shooter. Mm -hmm. Tire Tracks, we played that. Uh, took a long time to come out, but uh, mm -hmm. hey, welcome a tasty sandwich. Uh, Wizard of War Arcade, so we've got two by Champ Games getting boxed release Wizard treatment. Wizard of War, yeah, okay. Um, Scramble for the Atari 5200, and Baby Pac-Man for the Atari 7800. That one I've been looking forward to, mm. because that one in the arcade is a combo pinball game and arcade game in one cabinet. Like full legitimate pinball, and it has a screen so, above, so it has a joystick and pinball. So the release is just the game within the pinball game. Well, it's an emulation of 
the um, arcade game mm. on the 7800. Mm. So it has both pinball and video mm. game, but, you know, on a screen. I'm emulated. Mm. Yeah. Um, and a bunch of demos will be there. Uh, Avalanche, Chaotic Grill, Deep Stone Catacomb. Ooh, I guess it didn't quite make it to... the to get it get released because he's pretty much finished that but i think he wants to polish up a couple do, things maybe, yeah, yeah. uh ninja sky and low res world uh robot zed tower of rubble magical fairy force haven't heard of that one must not be a 2600 game uh arkanoid and adventure to xe i think mm -hmm. those are 7800 and atari 8-bit games so um obviously portland retro gaming expo we've been a number of times mm -hmm. first year was 2013 we went there yes uh, missed 2016 i think we only missed one year yeah it was sad yes we went last year we, we went did last a bunch year. of interviews we, it was the year before we couldn't go i don't yeah. think i think yeah yeah so looking forward to that again mm -hmm. this year um some sad news uh, michael thomason of good deal games posted uh yesterday that I'm sad to report that my good friend and fellow Atari programmer, Stephen Wren Smith, passed away yesterday. Stephen was the first and only legally blind Atari game programmer to design and program a game, and I was honored when he chose my little company to publish it. Due to several interruptions resulting from health issues, such as cardiac arrest, the typical four to nine month development cycle was prolonged over seven years. Regardless, he pulled off his childhood dream of making his own Atari game, and I was so proud of him. Kudos again to you, buddy. May you get a perfect score playing Road Duel in Heaven. Wow. The conventions won't be the same without you. Mm -hmm. And he uh, uh, continue on in a different post. I have four remaining copies of Stephen Smith's Road Duel Atari game in stock in honor of Stephen Wren Smith. The first four to message me will get a complimentary copy. They want immediately. Mm -hmm. I think Stephen would like that. My only request is that you play his game and agree, agree not to sell it to another. Mm -hmm. Sharing it for somebody else to play when you're done is encouraged. Uh, and then he posted later, in honor of Stephen Wren Smith, Good Deal Games is now releasing the ROM to his excellent Road Deal dual game um, for free. I think that Stephen would approve if he was still with us. I want as many people to play his game as possible. In case you don't know, Stephen was the first, but we already read that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, read all that. So you can head over to, um, I think it's posted at Good Deal Games for download, but it's definitely posted in the Atari Age forums for download. Um, and, um, we had the, uh, I had the pleasure of messaging Stephen, mm. um, last year when we featured his Atari 2600, uh, homebrew game Road Duel, which we played on the show. Um, he was a really great guy and it's upsetting that he, yeah. uh, he, he left us. So it, it was, I was very honored to be able to, um, chat with him a mm. little bit over the internet. Mm. Uh, I never spoke with him or met him, yeah. but, uh. When, uh, when we featured his game, I was able to talk with him little for a little, little bit, bit, back and forth, and yeah. get some info um, about him and his background and um, the disease he had. And we talked about it on the show. So if you want to um, learn more about that and watch the game, you can go back to uh, last year and just search for Road Duel in the archives on, uh, on YouTube. And you can uh, learn more about him and his, uh, his game. Um, on to some interesting uh information some drama drama in the atari Ooh. age forums i like drama not related to atari 2600 but it's okay. interesting nonetheless it is um to do with ColecoVision, mm. and let me just see oh well you have it there i do have for? a ColecoVision, but there's a game i don't know where where it is somewhere um, I don't know. It's somewhere. You can look in, the, <laughs> look in the archives. We played it when I um got the... This is what happens when you have too many games. Yeah, too just many saying, games. Just saying. <laughs> um, it has to do with the game Risky Rick. And we played that with Erlen on the show mm -hmm. um, a number of months back. Mm -hmm. um, Risky Rick in Dangerous Traps. And I, I acquired a, an RGB ColecoVision. And so I wanted to show it off in the show. And so that's the game that we played mm -hmm. uh, on the show. So it was, I thought, oh, it's very relevant. Um, there was a thread um, started by the people who are selling um, that game, Risky Rick, um, Arcade Vision. And recently, and I must have made a comment, so it popped up on my, on my feed. I was like, oh, what's going on with this game? Because when we played the game 
um, on the show, mm -hmm. there was some issues in in that um, in that forum thread, saying, "Oh, if you have a modded system, the game might not work." Mm. So I was a little worried when I ordered the game um, that it may not. Did, did I order it? How did I get this game? I can't remember. Somehow I got the game. Mm. Um, maybe I had to send it. Yeah, I had to send it back. Somebody sent it to me. Oh, to play, and then to you play. sent it back. Okay. Yeah, that's why I don't have it anymore. Okay, that that's right. Somebody sense. loaned it to me. Yeah, that's it. Um, so that was very nice of them. So I could play it on the show. Um, but there was there was possibly an issue because it didn't work with some modified systems, and particularly my modified system mm -hmm. that was modified by Kevtris, which actually comes back. I think it was Kevtris. Anyway, somebody. Um, that it may not work and i did turn it on and it worked totally because you couldn't get past level one if if there was an issue with it um so there was a post going to a blog by kevtris um and it says i was talking to a friend about the game risky rick a new homebrew for the ColecoVision produced by Arcade Vision. Specifically, he dumped the game so he could play it on his Atari Max flash cart without having, without having to put wear on the original cartridge. After dumping, the game worked but would mysteriously prevent you from completing level one. You could play through level one. At the end where you crawl through the small gap to the next level, the game would not let you progress at the edge of the screen. And when we we're playing it on the show, we're like, yay, it made it through, and you made it to level two. And so we're like, yay, it didn't affect it, us. Mm. Checking the Atari Age forum thread about the game revealed that several people had the same mysterious bug mm. with the game, even playing with the legitimate cartridge, which we played in the legitimate cartridge. Arcade Vision's reply was simply, the game is not designed to work on modified ColecoVision systems. Mm. Mine is, and it worked. And those people were basically on their own. After many pages back and forth between people who couldn't get the game... Uh, they purchased to work properly on their Calico Visions. Some discovered that if pin 13 on the cartridge was grounded, the game would work, which uh, led people to believe that that's why it was Alter a flaw in the cartridge. Then a uh, flaw in the cartridge, a flaw in the systems, like like okay. something wasn't grounded, okay. something okay. wasn't made right, and especially with modified systems, mm. like they forgot to hook up something again. Mm. And he said, reading the thread some more, Arcade Vision declared that the game had no DRM and it was just the modified system's fault. Not to pass a up a detective story this good, I obtained the current ROM dump and I promptly disassembled it and went through the code. Wow. So everyone out there can go and read his blog mm -hmm. because it goes in detail for pages and pages and pages about his investigation mm -hmm. into the code of the cartridge mm -hmm. and this mysterious pin 13 and modified systems. But I'll skip to the conclusion. Uh, conclusion, Arcade Vision released a homebrew that had three forms of DRM in it, while denying it had any. The pin 13 trick is absolutely brilliant, and I have to give them credit for figuring it out. Mm. Uh, the unfortunate thing is now the cart cat's out of the bag, it was a one-shot deal, and that DRM will never work again. <laughs> yeah. Two of the software checks were kind of a dick move and can get triggered even on legit systems. Mm. Um, so what they did is put in copy protection into the cartridge. Yes. Sure. And said they Fine. didn't do it. Fine. They put in copy protection. Yeah. The bad part is they said they did didn't, not do didn't it. Didn't do it. Yeah. And this guy did investigations, uh, and he does a lot of in-depth hardware things Kev cool. kevtris does a lot of it's very cool to things. have the knowledge to be able to do that <laughs> yes, seriously it is, it is. Yeah. like you know most most people would not would know, not know where to, to start yeah. yeah this guy knows a lot uh, yeah. of stuff <laughs> yeah. yeah kevtris is is a genius yeah um so and i did some digging and there has been um copy protection on a number of uh homebrew games through mm. the ages even Atari 2600 games like homebrews homebrews specifically. homebrews yeah. specifically yeah, yeah. um I, I dug up an early 2002 discussion on uh, copy protection on cyber goth's gunfight homebrew mm. um and, and somebody was upset about oh they couldn't play the game for free um mm. without buying it and that was their big thing but that's mm. that's not really much of an excuse no no um but there's 
something a bit more about the arcade vision that was a bit more nefarious because they completely denied that DRM existed. Well, that's, that's the and issue. And we're blaming people's systems, yeah. bla blaming modified consoles, uh, all the while trying to keep people from knowing that they put in yeah. uh, CRC checks and um, made the cartridge kind of not standard so that it would only, would only work would, with certain systems. It would really. fail yeah. on certain systems, yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, That's very interesting. So people are pretty pretty upset about that, mm. as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Not about the copy protection, because I think most people would give them a pass. It's like, you know, you want to sell a game, you don't want people copying it for free, fine. Yeah. That's, that's a legitimate stance. Mm. Some people may not agree with that stance, but no but i mean at least be forthcoming that, that but lying about yeah. it and then people finding out I about mean, it i don't know what the motivation would be to do that i get that the maybe lying, you mean i i get that maybe by saying you haven't done it then people won't investigate it and find a way to break it that's definitely why they said that uh, but they're just going oh it's the bad modified systems right i like the games are why is it always the coleco vision why is this damn coleco yeah. vision community <laughs> it's never the atari uh community it's the coleco vision community yeah, so, I, I haven't so found too many. It's the drama. It's the drama. Other, other than <laughs> Dirty Dirty Pirates, dirty, dirty in, pirates. in the 2600 community <laughs> making pirated games, mm. I haven't really found anything underhanded in the like this in the 2600 community. It's, yeah. it's a little bit different. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, that's something really interesting. And for anybody interested in um, DRM protections that the ColecoVision people did, or just reading the drama about the story mm -hmm. and how it unfolded. Um, because I remember talking about that when we played that game on the show. And the relief that it actually worked because I did have a modified system. Yeah. Really interesting. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get into the game. We're going to get into Championship Yay. Golf first. Yay. Made by Edward Smith, a.k.a. E.A. Smith. This was first posted about on mm -hmm. July 3rd, 2019. And this build is uh, about 20 minutes old <laughs> he wow. sent it to me 10 that's a fresh build right yeah there. <laughs> 10, 10 minutes before the nice. show started nice yeah and he said if you can if you see this put it on the show actually said if if you get this tried this one I got the tree trunks to be brown if not no worries like he, and i just saw it pop up oh, and wow. i had just enough time to, to check it to cop i didn't even check it oh copy it over yeah <laughs> He had to add DRM. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't even have ch time to check it, but it's a very stable game. Okay. Now. Good. Um, size is 16K. Other games, uh, mm -hmm. he's made Alien Attack, Alien Revenge, Championship Golf, Kung Fu Combat, One on One, and Pickle. And you can download maybe not this exact version, but he'll probably post it very, very soon. Mm -hmm. But you can download the one before this if not. Cool. Um, so let's uh, fire it up on the 2600 oh i've still got stuff from the last episode when i was doing crazy things one second there we go let's get this going here's your joystick thank you yep i'll flip it over Oh, and turn it on there. Okay, so go down. Oh, that's me. That's you. Let me just load it up. Yeah. Okay. Pro golf trunk. <laughs> Quick naming scheme, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. <laughs> Pro golf on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. So there was a golf game released um, in the. The run of 2600 but it was okay. only released in the pal consoles which is in europe mm. and it never got an ntsc C release, release yeah. so this is great that there's a new homebrew now so mm -hmm. people in the americas <laughs> will be able to play golf mm -hmm. um so let me read out the instructions okay. briefly okay on how to play this because actually we can switch if you want or do no, you no, it's okay. One? You explain it because, yeah. Yeah, because uh, we're going to be playing two player here. Okay. Um, he, it used to be called Championship Golf, but he thought it was too long of a title. Mm -hmm. So he switched it to Pro Golf, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, and he added a 
intro screen on July 21st recently. He added uh, two player on July 16th. Mm -hmm. And at the game, set it start of the game, set the right difficulty to A to engage two player mode. So I'm gonna switch that over to A, which it already was. I'll just make sure. Okay. Um, and uh, okay. Off green. Okay, there is wind, which is in the bottom right. Mm -hmm. The arrow. Yep. On the bottom left is your golf club, which there's nothing now. We're just on the title screen. Mm. Um, let's just start it up so you can see. Mm -hmm. And then the green is on the top. Uh, the green is the, green, the top I mean, right. Yeah, uh, the, um, yeah. Yep, you can see the flag yes. uh, where the hole is. Um, and all the gr darker green are trees. The blue is water. There's no sand in this level, but it is yellow. Um, it has a beautiful map on top. You mm -hmm. can see it's a, a reflected play field, so it's exactly the same on the left and right, at least on this hole. Um, your little guy on the bottom there, and you can see where the um, hole is. Mm. You can see trees ahead of you. And this is, I believe, it's done by either the top right is the stroke or the hole. Mm. Um, you can see where your ball is on the bottom left there with the tiny green ball. Mm -hmm. So you can, how he does it is you move around the pin to where you want to shoot it. Okay. And that was just out of necessity because yeah. there's yeah. only so many items you can have on the screen and he doesn't have any flickering. So that's the way he's able to mm -hmm. get around it. So he, as you can see, as I move it, it automatically changes the type of club. Okay, so, you so don't you're need not to choosing then. Yeah, this is a more arcadey um, version of golf. Okay. Because in the more realistic ones, you... Um, yes, I believe the priority has changed. Yeah, so you can see, um, you can put it over top of the water. It used to be underneath. Um, you can't see it in the trees, so it's hard to tell what the priority is. But I'm sure it's on top. It's on top there. Um, uh, it's on top there. Um, I did find a bug, if you can see oh, that. Oh, yeah. And it wraps around. But it does shoot legitimate, legitimately when it wraps around. So if you go blip, 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 uh, uh, and then it's normal again. Wedge, 9-iron, 7-iron, 5-iron, driver. And, and when nothing. you're too far away, it's like, no, that's just... That won't work. It won't all. even work. You won't get that far, so you might as well go closer mm -hmm. and aim your shot, right? It's uh, five. Yeah. Okay. So I will take my. Sh Actually, I'll read it out before mm -hmm. I do it because I need to brush up on exactly how to shoot. So, okay. If moving the target just a little selects a more powerful club, then select the more powerful club. Oh, these are hints. Takes practice to get a feel for putting, but the rule of strength, uh, but the rule. Of max strength equals distance 10 equals works works pretty well. Mm -hmm. But we'll, you'll see when we get to that. Spindly1970 says this game is very, very impressive. Yeah, mm -hmm. the graphics are really good. Um, um, the way it shows things. Actually, you can see it. Where the pin? The pin's moving? Oh, I think that's mm -hmm. a bit backwards. Because mm -hmm. that's where you are. Now, if I move over there, it should be to the left of you. And move over there, it's to the right. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Maybe because you span around, spun around oh, and around and around. Oh, could be. You may have. I could have messed it up. Yeah. Mm, not sure. Um, except when you're putting, always use the max shot strength. Since you're trying to... Just go as, hit your preset yeah. target which equals max strength yeah. so unless you're doing something tricky like you want to avoid the trees mm -hmm. but in that case just put it where you want to hit it mm -hmm. rather than put it far and then go oh that's seven tenths there no just put it where you want to hit it um to swing oh, on the green off the green the shot will attempt to hit the target, but it is affected by wind, the bottom right number, mm. on how your shot timing is executed. 
wind is only uh in player zero difficulty a so do you want to turn on the wind yeah because we sure. didn't use wind last time yeah it does make it more challenging for yeah. sure we'll reset it and there's still no wind okay mm. but maybe it is your... the first hole yeah so. uh for reference uh arrow to the right nine means the wind is blowing right to the nine so aim left nine to the left of the intended target the greens are about 16 units wide mm. so that's not much if that green is 16 and the wind is represented by zero to nine mm. it's only like tiny amounts mm. right the course view play field is 50 vertically that gives you another perspective so wind blowing up nine move the target down about one fifth of the way Mm. Oh, okay so the wind is always to the left or right of the green of the green yeah that makes green. sense because yeah. there's no 360 wind mm. happening right now mm -hmm. uh, uh other course factors that affect your shot timing will complicate the result to swing pull down on the joystick this will activate the shot strength meter you'll want to achieve maximum strength meter push up on the joystick to begin the downswing you want to do this when the strength meter is exactly at max or just below too little strength will cause a short shot push the button to finish the swing then the meter is exactly zero too early slice to the right too late hook to the left if your ball is higher than the target this is reversed so the shot mechanic is down up button it's like swing down um, down then up and swing yeah something like that avoid the water hazard one stroke penalty okay blah 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 two player mode activate by going to the right uh one or two player can be only switched when that before the first shot is taken player zero tees off the first hole after the tee shot the player who's out furthest from the hole plays next mm -hmm. makes sense in two player games the white ball is the active shot uh, and the blue or yellow marker is the other player's location. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the end of the game, the top row numbers are player zero score, player one score at the end of the game. Okay, par is 70. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me take a shot after all of that. Pin in the bottom screen is the actual hole. Actual hole. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's your perspective. Mm -hmm. And that's where the hole is. That's where the hole is. So if I'm based over on, here... Based on which way you're swinging. That's right. So you, it's like the guy's turning. Yeah. Uh, towards where he's shooting, and that's the, the yeah. hole is... Okay. So if I go here... Except the trees don't move, which is what's rather... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what makes it confusing, but that's okay. Yeah. It would be... I mean, that's another thing he can maybe work on, is move the trees as you move left and right. That's yeah, okay. And that would make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah. So you want to get as far as you want far as you can so i could go there or i can risk getting in the water there or risk getting in the trees there well, so i'm just going to go trees. there because yeah. it's going to take two hits anyway mm -hmm. so the sequence is you hit the button to start your swing or to get ready then you pull down up then the button and obviously i did it wrong mm -hmm. okay yellow is you so it's your turn oh you can see my ball is the blue one you said down and then up down to start your swing up when you want when you when it hits maximum and then the button when it's at minimum again what you press the button right now down up it go oh that's that's i it's very fast no i was doing something yeah okay i hit down and it's your turn again but it's down then up down to start it moving and then okay. up up at its maximum um, so you're probably close enough to get on the green. Just go back to the green. Yeah, not over the trees, though. There you go. I'm in the middle of the trees. It doesn't hit trees. What do you mean it doesn't hit trees? Or does it hit trees? Of course. Oh. Doesn't it? I don't know how the trees react. Does it, like, hit tree and stop? Or does it, like, slow Usually down to the trees? Are they infinitely tall trees, I guess? So you hit the button, and then it's down and okay. then up? Yep. Down, and then it'll expand, then up, then button. Well, okay, that was fine. But down and then up, then button? Yeah. 
I don't get that. Okay, I'll show you. It, 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 no, but I mean, I don't understand what it's doing because you hit down and it starts to expand. Yep. And then and up. Up at its maximum. And then button? Button when it's at minimum again. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, so it's your turn again. So you have a clear shot to yes. the green. And button to set it. Then it's down and up, up, button. Ugh, see, I'm not hitting. That's not what I hit. <laughs> down and then up and then button. Yep, so and I set it. Down, up, button. That was better. Oh, very close. Yep. Is that me? Yep. I don't know where your ball is. Oh, it's in the trees. <laughs> it's underneath the trees I'm somewhere. I'm confused. Okay, so... There we go. So if I go button, yep. down, up, up button. button. There you go. Okay. So you're still not... Am I? I look like I'm on the green. Why You don't green. look like you're on the green. Neither do I. Yeah. But you're further like not who's... from the oh, green. Oh, it's still me. That's weird. So you're so close, you're using a wedge now. Weird. Okay. So... Button to set it. Down, up, then button. And technically, you should always go to maximum. For wedge, too? Yeah, even wedge. Because mm. it's calculating it based on 100% of the distance. Yeah, but and I you mean... you went about 25. Yeah, so but I... Yeah. You're fine. Though. I just want to get on the green, so... Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Got a putter now. Yep. So, um... How does it work when you're putting? putting uh, you started it. I didn't mean to, but okay. that's okay. <laughs> okay, don't do anything. Don't do anything. There is no button because it's always set perfectly to oh, the hole. Oh, I see. Okay. You don't need to set where you're going. Okay. Um, so on the green, putting is the same as the swing. Mm -hmm. Down, up, button. The bottom right number is the distance to the pin, mm. um, which makes sense because nine is the maximum. Think of the maximum shot strength as a distance of 10 or higher. So mm. if you go to 10, you're, you're going to overshoot oh, it by 2. So for a putt a distance of 6, let the strength meter get about to 70%. Okay. So if you're at 8, let it get to about 90%. Yeah. The button must be pressed at the end unless the distance is 1 or 0. But pushing the button too soon will put the putt right and too late, we'll put it going left. And it's, it is possible to over putt um, so that the putt rolls over the hole. So you want to hit the button after you're going down up exactly when it. Oh, way off. Yeah, not enough strength. So <laughs> no, I, I hit the button. I hit the oh. button. I went, I went down, up, and hit the button. I didn't let it come back in. So, so it went to the right. I have a strength of I have uh, four. Yeah. So I need to get about 50%. I think there I got go. it in. Yep. Yay! Yay. Takes a little, little bit of getting used to. It. Yeah, it's not too it's bad. Not too bad once yeah. you know. Okay, so I'm the green. Mm -hmm. So this is a short enough hole that into oh. the into the sand. Oh. oh. See, I'm too early. I'm almost too early. That's okay. I was not a terrible, again. not a terrible shot, but. Uh -huh. So EA Smith, I, I did find the loop around. I don't know if you saw that when I was going to the left or the right of the screen. It doesn't do a check to make sure I'm not going too far off the screen. And it just kind of goes a little crazy. I think it will do it on the top and bottom, but I'll try Get it. Back to where you were. Oh, you're, you're in the sand? I'm in the sand. You're in the sand. So watch, if I go to the left, it goes blip, 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 goes oh. crazy. Go to the right, goes crazy. Uh, up as well. No. It's, oh. not, it's not scrolling around. You've lost it. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, no. Automatic Oh, there loss. we go. There you go. <laughs> and if you go down, it goes off the screen. Yeah. And like actually That's continues. Okay. Yeah, it's but it's fine. not, it doesn't it's not going. Anything. It doesn't affect anything. No. So... 
I am in a terrible state. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if I made it on the green. I think I did. Or is it, I'm the, yeah. no, I'm green. So I'm just a little bit still off. Where's yours? Is he the yellow ball? Oh, too far. Did, what? Did I get a hole in one? No. Or a hole in two? That was me. I don't think you got a hole in one, did you? Oh, what? That was me. Must have, because it's still you. I must have got it right in. Wow. Out of the sand. There I did. Go. Did you? Wow. I didn't hit it again. I was very lucky. <laughs> E.A. Smith says, just don't do that. Problem fixed. <laughs> Doctor, it hurts when I do when I move my arm like this. <laughs> yeah. Just don't move just your just arm don't like move that. Your arm. You made a chip <laughs> in. Yeah, good job. Yeah, that is really good. We were both we are both surprised. <laughs> yeah, I was like, where did my ball go? Oh, you actually uh, hit it in the hole. That would be um, a That's good nice. thing to add. Is a definite sound of you got the ball in the hole. Yeah, like the, because I was like like the the ball like, in ding, the ding, cup, like, ding, like ding, ding, <laughs> or something. In, in Atari form. <laughs> in Atari form. However that works. Okay. Where's the green? Oh, it's way off to the left. Yeah, so it's a, that's, there is a wind of three. That's, that's so I'm going to go up a bit there. Because it, it's going to blow it to the left mm -hmm. of where I'm... Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, you actually have to. Have to? You have... I can't put it up there. No, you can't. To compensate you can't for the wind. Overcompensate for the wind. So I can. You can't. You can't overcompensate. I think all you no. can do is chip it, or uh, not chip it, um, have it curve right or left in the air. Yeah. Okay. So I'll. But it doesn't really do matter. Do that because I was trying to go for there, but above, because it's going to go left. But I can't go above because that's too far. It says. That's mm. okay. Yeah. It doesn't allow you to shoot it further. Than you can. E.A. E. Smith says the sound was there. We was just, it? Yeah, we probably oh. just were talking over it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn up a little bit. Yeah. You just aren't used to it. So you're too far. Oh, you've got a strong wind. Just pick, wind picked up. Yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> that's the closest I can get to. I can get to there. Oh. There. There. But the wind is going nine that way. It's going to go in the water if you hit that. No, exactly. if you well, it's going in that direction. It'll push. No, no, that. no. It's to the left, left of the pin, left of the direct line. It's it's either right or left. The wind is blowing. It's not not that the direction or that. It's, really? It's the direction of the direction of your shot. It's going to go either left or right. No, at the bottom. That direction is what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So it's going to go in the water if you hit it perfectly. Is it See are you talking about it? where the pin is or are you talking about that screen on the bottom? <laughs> Ignore is the what screen I'm on the bottom. Isn't the screen on the bottom showing which way the wind is blowing, either left or right? Yeah. But see where you're placing? Yeah. And 9 down from that is water. Nine pixels down. But, oh, I'm in that corner. Yeah, yeah you're but... You're shooting I, from there to there, and <sighs> and that way is nine is in the water. But, okay, Which, so is the wind related to what I'm seeing at the bottom, or yeah, it, it has nothing to do with anything? It does. It does have That's to what do. I'm saying. That bottom is yep. the wind. So if, yes. I'm, if I'm shooting straight, or I'm yep. shooting towards my pin, yep. then I'm expecting there to be wind pushing it to the left. That's right. And to the left of where your ball is destined to land? Yes, is water. Is water. Yeah, but you're confusing me because you're pointing in different directions. <laughs> it's hard. It's, it's 3D. It's, it's, I'm looking down here and saying, there's my pin, and it will push it to the left. Top. Go in clearing below the water. The wind is true left. Tanya's right. So the wind is like that way always or that way always, yeah. Oh, but facing Not, the bottom. What you're seeing oh. from the bottom is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, when you're seeing yeah. from the bottom. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's what I meant. Mm-hmm. I'll probably still end up in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of what's happening. Boop. 
Did it go in the water? I don't know. <laughs> I think it did. It sounded it was close. Kinda like it was water-ish. close. It almost cleared it, but no, I don't think it did. Or am I yellow? I'm yellow, right? Yeah, you're yellow, but okay. there's no yellow on the screen. Isn't so. that yellow on the screen? Where are you? I'm in the green. Oh, that's green? Yep. Oh, Good try, Jack. I'm very confused. So there's no wind. Oof, almost. Oh, there's yours showed yeah, up. Yeah, see? What? The colors of the balls change? Because mine turned blue now. I think it's... Is green is active? Green is active. Oh, okay. Green is active. Be. Blue is inactive. Then yours should have showed up. Hmm. And it didn't. As blue as a dot above the water. Quite hard enough. Nope. Yours again? Me? Mm. Yeah, you're further. A lot of trees in my way. <laughs> it, technically, you're past the trees. Technically, but it looks like they're in front. Yeah. Um, That's just an example view. It's not a real view. Mm. Getting caught in the trees. Um, so the wind is blowing to the right three, so it's actually blowing up there, if I'm here. Based oh, on your view from down there. Yeah. So I should go down here to get it on the green, just down a bit. Or hook or slice much. it or whatever, but yeah. Yeah, good luck with me figuring that out. <laughs> I, I remember playing playing golf games where you could actually kind of... Oh, I think I'm on the working. green, maybe? Mm. One pixel off of it. Oh, you always want to. I always do strength. that. No, I hit. I hit it. I hit it as I uh, as I hit up. I hit the button at the same time. Unintentionally. Your turn. Still. Uh, back the other way. Eh? Almost. It's like right on the edge. <laughs> yeah. Wind does not affect wedge. Oh, that's right. Is that me still? I did. Yep. I bounce over to the other side. You did. My goodness. Wedge, you still go at full strength, right? No. 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 Oh. There's no way that. It just says wind doesn't affect wedge. Yeah, there we go. Because I went full strength. It, it kicked right over where my pin was. I suppose, yeah. So I'm wedge. I should go full strength. You can. No, yours didn't go. Well, I don't know. Yours, it's your turn again. You're still not on the green. I'm still not on the green. <laughs> <laughs> this is like real golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops. 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 Yeah. Uh, I just went over it again? Yep. But if my pin's in the middle... All shots at full strength based on target. Okay. So your but pin I'm is kicking exactly over, on I keep, the... I'm kicking over the green, even though my pin's in the middle. Yeah. And you didn't do full strength either. Well, I went all the way. I went almost all the way out. Yeah. That has me so, confused. Yeah. Anyway. If you do full strength, it should get to exactly to the pin. It should definitely not go over it at uh, all the wind, because it's impossible. Well, it wind doesn't affect it, wedge. It, yeah. There's no wind anyway. I'm confused. So if it goes okay. past the pin, that's impossible. Because full strength is the full extent. And so, so if I... So theoretically, you should never be able to get past the pin I keep going, on a wedge. Or am I not going far enough? You aren't going far enough, far enough on that one. That Didn't even weird. move. There we go. There we go. Your turn. Uh, Where am I? I must have been really close. I'm not hitting the button. There oh, that's go. why. <laughs> He's like, uh, and miss. There we go. Yeah, oh, that All was right. really close. Well, that took a while. <laughs> yeah. It's your turn. Oh, still your turn. 
My turn? Yep, it didn't actually go in. Oh. There we go. Fine. So it does make a noise. It, it goes, does make eh. a noise. Eh. It might need to be longer or eh, eh, or something. No, like no, triple. that's fine. No? I, I just, when you hit it in on, from, when you um, chipped it in, mm. I didn't notice the sound when you chipped it in. I noticed it for the putting, but. Um, the wind is going down. Not left, right. There is a down and up. Mm. Okay. Oh, I hit it too late. Oh, I think I landed in sand. Mm -hmm. There's always some random error added to shots. Mm. And not timing a shot perfectly makes left and right. Mm. Oh, good shot. Much better than me. I don't think you're in the sand. No. Oh, Are it says a W. It? Yeah, I think I am. It says W. Oh, you went right over. Well, you've got wind. Or it in the says opposite it doesn't direction. affect it. The wind doesn't affect it. Mm. Well, I think because we're just close enough. That's why it's W. See, she didn't do a... Oh, it's the wind that was pushing the it. The wind, wind will So wind it. is way up there, so mm. I should, like, go there. Almost. Yeah. See what happens. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's you. I put way too much out. Oh. It's you. I'm like. So this wind is, is six. So if I want <laughs> that and it is. Oh my god, what did I do? Accidentally. I thought I didn't press the button. Oh. oh my god. Now it's six to the right. That's way too much. So if I uh, get... e EA Smith was saying there is always some random error added to the shots too. Like it's not always perfect. And then, yeah, if you're not yeah. timing it perfectly, it goes left and right. Wind does not affect wind. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Like to keep does. reminding us. So ignore the wind. Yeah. Because that would be too much. if Because the... you're only sh shooting at a short distance. The wind wouldn't pick it up. Went way past. Yep. Weird. How is that possible? That's not possible, it keeps Edward. Going back and forth. I suppose I'm not hitting it you immediately, went and it's 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 hooking or slicing, but hooking or slicing only goes left or right, up like based on the the line from you to the pin. And it's like it's just bouncing back and, and forth. And it's way overshooting. I mean, it. maybe the pin just I it just needs to be moved really low. I don't know. Oh, now it's going. No, it doesn't make sense. Going to full strength. Oh, no, going no. to full strength is the full extent of your shot. You should never be able to overshoot a wedge. Unless <sighs> the unless the error is so great. Oh my goodness. Nope. Here we go, finally. <laughs> better at mini putt. There we go. Better at, better at mini putt than I usually <laughs> Always aim to middle green. Okay, well, that, oh, that definitely okay. helps. So, drive. Ray. <laughs> This is hole number five, and you're 25 over Whoa. five. Whoa! How did it go there? <laughs> what? I, uh, it, uh... What? Was that slice hook? I can't remember. It went way off. I think because you went off the screen. Yeah, I didn't go off have... the screen. You went right... I was low, but I wasn't off the screen. Not off the screen, but it was... It went... I just... It was my timing for when I hit the ball. That's all. If you screw that up, it... It, it'll, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Well, that wasn't that was a bad. decent shot. That wasn't too bad. My turn again. Yep. Yeah, 
the middle of green is a much safer, much safer bet. <laughs> Uh, oh, that was bad. That was very bad. So, wedge. <laughs> James, you were better last time. <laughs> it was a different game. You added bugs. You added trouble into the game. I don't Actually, think there, there I don't wasn't think wind. That's the reason. <laughs> I don't think there was wind last time. There wasn't? No. Yeah, last wind does add it, a lot of I don't um, think there was wind complexity it does at least i don't think we played with wind mm. yeah it was way better last time like I, can't, I think it ended up with like two over par Are you trying? it was really good yeah well once you yeah you get the feel for it after a while oh my god right off seriously <laughs> did you hit the button yeah i think too late though yeah. there we go oh too far There we go. Yeah, not winning win this tournament, I can tell you that much. Not bad. So you should get some help from the wind. Mm -hmm. That's better. Better than mm -hmm. the last one, at least. Your turn. Okay. Think I got it on the green. I think you did. Might have. Police are coming. They are. <laughs> you can hear all that. All eh? the time. All the time. Welcome to Vancouver. Yeah. It's just background noise, really. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Ooh, so close. Oh, I'm not. Oh, that's you. Uh, it's me. Yeah. Police are coming to arrest us for playing so poorly on this game. <laughs> yes. It's a, that's the crime. Mm -hmm. oh, on the green. Good. I think we're getting a little bit better. Getting a handle on it. Oh, oh you so you... close. No. No? It has to make the noise. Oh, it's your right. turn now. I'm closer than you are, so it's your yeah. turn. Dun, eh. Yay. Yay! Mildly better. <laughs> Mildly better. <laughs> so I'm gonna go there. Nice. Um, the golf police arena fit says. Yep. Yep. Much better. Yes, it is. It takes it takes a bit of getting the hang of. I used to play there, much better. Whatever Commodore sixty four golf game my dad had yeah, back so in the did day. I. And and I remember, you know, the whole swing mechanic of it and I haven't played a golf game in quite a while, actually. No. But, um, Your turn. I always like, I've, I've always liked the, um, uh, just, just how video games for golf, um, figure out, like how they figured out how to, um, deal with the strength of the swing. Yes. Um, I always thought that was really neat. The mechanics. The of mechanics. Of, translating of, a joystick to a, a golf, a golf swing. swing. And then even like hooking and slicing and all that, so... Um. Good job. Not bad, not bad. I must say the um, the overview map mm -hmm. is is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's like that is that is beautiful. Splendid, not just said that too. The yeah, detail this, of the this map, one specifically I like that. is yeah. really nice with the water, with yeah. the little lake, uh, lake and the river running through it, yeah. and it works even with a uh, a simple reflected um, play field. Like it's exact. The trees are exactly the same. Well, I was gonna right, say they. You don't I'm even getting. I'm that. getting Horshack test vibes from yes. this one. But um, I yeah, it is nice. I like the the river and the and the lake in it too. Mm hmm. It's hard to tell where that went. Um, and it's really nice. The ball goes up and gets bigger and comes down. Mm. Really, really good. And um. This is a big, big improvement in terms of colors and aiming from previous versions. He's um, changed the uh, colors of the, the green used to be white. Mm. And then he changed the trees to brown, but then they look like mud puddles or dead trees. And now he's got the three different colors of green. 
Ooh, I think we're doing much better now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you Getting played the 2600 My Golf? Mm -hmm. I have not. It does look very good, though. Is that the um, the PAL version of the game? Turning off the wind is much easier, I bet. Mm -hmm. Okay, seven. I think I took three shots Ooh, that to get was way that. Off. Three, yeah. Ugh. Oh. I'm not hitting it at the right time. There we go. That was my best hole yet. Yeah, Ooh, look you at did this very dangerous well. one. Ooh, look at all that sand. So technically, you could get it. Ooh, it's gone to the six to the right, so. Mm, yeah. Risky. Uh, I'll do that. It is risky. Ooh, Ooh, I don't know where that landed. I think not in the sand. But either way, I think it's pretty good. Oh, that was terrible. Right in the sand. Right in the oh, sand. Oh, I'm in the sand. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. I'm pretty close, though. So, where am I? Okay, it's going to... Too quick to hit the button. Right. Oh, wedge doesn't affect. Okay. I think I overshot it. Somehow. Mm. Red player is even par. That's a left score at the tee shot. No. Not even. Overall, not possible. Uh, that's me. I, th I think if you make the upper portion of the body oh, of the so man on the bottom, so close. of the person at the bottom, mm -hmm. it would be uh, look a little bit better because he's like really thin in the upper body. It just I think looks like I, he has hammer pants on. I think I did that in, <laughs> in Photoshop and it actually looks more full. Is that, but then do you get the swinging Rather of the arms? The if, if, if That's, the body's wider? That I wider? don't know. You need to see the arm swing. Yeah, you do. It yeah. may affect the arm swing. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's on turn. the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a four. Oop, that's too much. Way too much. What? How can it overshoot by seven? How can it do 15? Well, when I'm, it could be I when you're hitting the button too. It goes off to the left? By 15? <laughs> no, it's impossible. Keep going. There you go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I did it. I did oh. put it wrong, but just the distances, the addition of oh the distances don't make sense. Oh. Don't know how I got that mm. in. Nice uh. looking hole. Looks like a big, I don't know. So nine that way, so I have to go. Looks like a guy in a mech suit. I, I, that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> oh, yes. The two legs and the big arms and the head. What? <laughs> what? I didn't laugh. No, you didn't hear that. <laughs> is that where my uh, ball is? How can it no, my no. ball be in, is the it? Middle, oh. in the middle of the green? It ended up in the water, though, right? Is that where I drop I don't it? Know. I don't that's know. funny. You're 33 above par. Is that oh, what no. it is? I have no idea. <laughs> That's, it's got 33. We're not golf or people, that, can you tell? <laughs> or is that 33 strokes um, so far? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm 33 above par. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's a lot. Oh, wow, good. That was much better. Oh, where am I? I am... Yeah, you are. Yeah. You are It's a the weird yellow. place to be. Just got moved back, I guess. Just a random amount, yeah. Hooray, I think. Dropping balls? Yeah, but like way back there. I don't know the rules to golf. Maybe that's a legitimate place to drop the ball. Hmm. Yay! Even with that. Oh, oh, oh you did I'm it. I'm surprised I got it in. Yeah. Uh, I was really off. I'm really, really off with hitting my button, like getting it right in the middle. Three to the. Oh, thought I was able to hit it that far. Guess not. That's almost exactly where I aimed it. Good job. Very nice. Stroke penalty. Yeah. Very nice. 
pretty it much knocked your ball. ball. Yeah. yeah, it looked like it jumped or a bit. Or smacked you in the head if you were by your ball. Yeah. Oh, that's not usually how it works. But <laughs> no, it's not a good idea. Not a good idea to... Where did I land? I don't know. Mm. The ace myth. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, for stroke penalty. Okay. <laughs> And right in, in the, the sand. sand on the beach. Good job. Oh, I'm on the sand. Mm, you're right on the edge there. So let me just shoot in a bit. What? So, I must have you hit are. it at the wrong part. How? <laughs> How could it hook so See, much to the left? this is what happens to me when I play golf. It's like, other side of the green, other side of the green, other side of the green. Actually, have you ever played golf? No. I have never played golf. <laughs> like I actual golf? I have never even teed. Uh, I don't think I've ever even played it like a... Like a... Um, what are those? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Where you just hit it, hit the ball yeah. over and over again and there's nets and stuff? Yeah, no. Yeah. Played mini golf. That's it. The irony was he used to work on a golf course. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is definitely an irony. Doesn't mean I like golf because I work there. It's just for the money. I did it only for the money. Um, mini golf many times. Oh, tons. Tons yeah. of mini golf. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. not bad at mini golf. Yeah. I played putt-putt. Yes, exactly. Putt-putt. Yeah. I don't think that's a common term in Canada. Putt putt? No, I've seen putt -putt? I, I've seen I've seen uh, courses called putt putt and stuff. Usually it's like called that. mini golf here. Mini golf, yeah. 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 Crazy golf. I will definitely think mini about golf. the shooting too far thing you mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible. Uh, How can you overshoot? Putt putt is a big chain. So oh, so it's an actual go. name. Yeah, in the oh, U.S. Okay. I've seen that name before. Adventure Zone. Oh, I've heard of Adventure Zone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you still find mini golf courses here and there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially on vacation areas mm -hmm. where, where you, there's lots of people go on vacation. There's always mini golfs in those kind of places or anywhere there, there's kids uh, where kids go on vacation. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Because it's a pretty inexpensive way to entertain kids for a long period of time. It's a dangerous hole. Ooh, Ooh, good shot. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take yeah. that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Many golf, many times. I had. We used to have golf tournaments at my work, um, come on, come which on, people on. generally. I, yeah, it's you're on the green. You're not. On, I? I think. I don't know. Did you no, get a stroke I got penalty? It, yeah. Look where I am. Um, Terrible. Oh yeah, you did. Um, the funny thing is, in recent years, people don't play golf anymore, so it's they stopped done. doing it. Yeah, yeah. It. Uh, yeah. People don't have the interest in in golfing as much as they used well, it's to. It's a really expensive ho hobby. I only ever did it once. It was fine. I did not play well, but you wouldn't expect to play well when it's your first you've time. You've done it only once. Playing yes. golf, you yeah. know, playing eight. I think I think we just did um, nine holes. Yeah, yeah. It would take too long it, for but, um, amateurs to play eighteen. Um. Arena Foot says, I love the Blacklight mini golf courses. Yeah. One in Pigeon Forge. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah. I think I only need to, like... That was actually a good a good hole down. for me. <gasps> there we go. Yeah, good stuff. It wasn't enough, quite enough. Yeah. Um, oh, I can make it all the way there. I also like... Um, like oh, the my Blacklight God. Bowling Didn't is really fun, too. Blacklight Bowling, yeah. Blacklight black Bowling is really fun. I like that. We have turn. It's good times. So what I did at my job at the golf course was I refilled all the water at the holes so they could, you know, get some water while they're... Uh -huh. You keep playing. Yeah. I'm filling in time. I know, I know. <laughs> Not distracting you. Um, I also sanded the, uh, the tees. So, because people would take chunks out of the... Uh, uh, the, the grass there? Yeah. Yeah. So I'd sand them and seed them. Six. Did you cut grass? No. Right. Um, I did, but I didn't like it because it was very stressful because you could just screw things up. No, I did. I did cut the grass actually a lot. What happened? What is happening? 
Where am I? You're way in the way in the in the in the, <laughs> in the trees. Forest. Yeah. Why am I shooting Because you're to hitting the trees. Right? You're hitting trees. You're hitting trees and it's bouncing back. Trees suck. You're in the trees too. I know I'm in the trees. <laughs> Um, I'm not entirely sure why I'm there, actually, but that's okay. Yeah, the most the most stressful job, which I never ever ever took, was to cut the cut the greens because you screw up. You're destroying the golf course. Yeah, okay. and and everything needs to look perfectly like lined up, right? Usually, when it's cut, it's in like yeah, nice it's... beautiful patterns and. Not the the greens. Yeah. No, the where the like where the, the putting green. Where the the honey green. Is. Or the, 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 yeah, the, the hole. The hole, yeah, the green. Yeah. I think I made it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm if you... I can handle that. Okay. Um... Yeah, that does, that, I don't know. I would, I would assume golfers are pretty demanding people, so. It's really hard to see your ball when you're close to something. It, it might be a good be. idea to flash the ball because if your ball is green and it's right next to the green, it's the exact same color. Mm -hmm. So you might want to think of yeah. slowly flash it. I do like, like how it's up in the air it flashes. It gets bigger and yeah, smaller so you can see its nice. path. I think that's really nice. I think this is probably pretty dangerous, but... You're going to hit tree. Oh. Oh, look at you. I think when I played, we played the last time, I got one hole in one. That was really close there. Ooh, good job. Yep, not Something bad. Better. Not bad. Uh, I don't know where I went. Brighter color balls. <laughs> Brighter ball colors. Well, he has to make the ball colors the same as the green. Like, he has to have the same colors. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very difficult to figure out a good scheme. Yay! Excellent. Okay. We're on hole 14. We're almost there. I'm going to go for here. This one's a pretty straightforward one. There we go. Your turn. Games R says, I like bright balls. <laughs> yeah, so the, the ball colors are shared with the um, green and the sand. Oh, I think I messed up. It's not going to make it there. It's fine, no, though, because it was nine against me. Now the wind is six in your favor. It's like not my glasses. It's annoying me. There it is. I think I got it. Oh, a little bit off there. It's the kid play bear from Atari. Looks like a teddy bear. Oh, the tree pattern. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of looks like the... Oh, yeah. On some of the Atari games, on the easy mode, instead of a level, they put a, a little teddy bear oh, to really? signify it's, it's, it's the baby the level. <laughs> it's the baby level, yeah. Nice. Hmm. Oh, actually, I should. Oh, that's funny. No. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Went way off. Error. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Natural um, error. Am I misinterpreting the wind again? The wind is from the bottom perspective, mm -hmm. not the top perspective, right? Which is... which? It's facing it. If you're looking the way you're shooting... Yeah. Or shooting. Yeah, hitting the ball, the ball... On the bottom It's pushing you this way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. But the last shot I just did didn't match that at all. So you want to be more to the right if it's pushing well, you Well, it's left. a wedge in this one, so it doesn't yeah. matter at all. So I want to shoot for the center. Actually, that's the hole. So that sucks. As long as you get on there, you're still going. Oh, <laughs> terrible. 
12 away. Interesting. So, theoretically, you can't even get it to the hole. Oh, my. Because the maximum is 10. That's a pretty big uh, green. Yep. So you blast it. Looks like you almost got it in. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in the next one. Yay. So, three. Oh, my God. Oh, my way hair? off. What is happening? Oh, my goodness. It's terrible. Just ignore it. Why isn't there a hole indicator on the green? Ooh, nice, That's nice funny. hole. That is nice, yeah. So you can definitely just make it over. And the wind is going to the right, so I'm going to go to the left. Quite a bit. In the water. Why? Why, why, why? Do you have to avoid the trees? Is that the thing? Do the trees mess you up in midair? Well, they could. EA Smith, help <laughs> us. Do the trees mess you up in midair? Is that why it's like kind of weirding, they getting can. weird out? Weirded out there? James takes a drink. Oh, splendid nut. Spelt flag wrong and auto mod messed him up. Let's allow that. <laughs> what? <laughs> they That's thought he the said fault? a naughty word. Oh. oh. There we go. That's better. Oh, he corrected himself, and then it went. Got over the river, yay! Okay. Oh, it's just a wedge, so... Should... It's like right there. The wind shouldn't affect it, and I should go at maximum strength. Because I don't know about the maximum strength thing. It feels like that overshoots. Oh, it's no. Didn't seem to. Guess not. Yay. Ugh, I never hit it. Oh, my goodness. Pull to the right. So there should be a hole in one, right? Zero wind. Perfect shot. Perfect, perfect. Hole in one. No. <laughs> Not quite. Pulled to the left a bit. It's very sensitive. Uh, we're on the 16th hole, so there's this one and two more. Mm. So six to the right. So I should go to the left. Did you get it in? You must got really close then. I got close, I think. Not quite a hole in one. Oh, same distance as me. Yeah, that yeah. was in two. Nice. That so two good. more holes that left. Was better. Much better. <laughs> and look at that. It gives you a little space nice. there to land on. A little island. It's going to pull to the left, so I'm going to go to the right a bit. Pretty close. Pretty close. Oof. Did uh, that one in the water, it? I think. Did it? No, look where it placed you. Look at that. Really? What no. is that cheatiness, EA that Smith? Doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't what sound right. What is this? <laughs> Placed her closer. <laughs> that is funny. I don't know if you should make that the default placement for a, a drop. But a one-stroke penalty, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh. Didn't look at the wind. Oh. Whoa, that was good. That was good. Yeah, but a one stroke penalty. Yeah, but seriously, look at where the was, ball was dropped. Oh, terrible. What? No, 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 no. I was trying to adjust for the wind, but. Yeah. Cheat code, cheat code built in, apparently. There we go. Ooh, how close did I get? Wow. Pretty close. You're within five. Yeah. Good job. Getting better at this punning thing. Mm, I'm not, apparently. <laughs> we go. Last hole, hole, everyone. Excellent. Okay. That's, so that's about, about the, the amount of time it usually takes me to get through a round of golf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, close. Against me, eh? Yeah, so you don't want to go as far as possible. Ooh, ooh, what mm, happened? I didn't hit the I didn't hit the sand, the beach at mm. least. Mm. Ooh, looks like Good it got green. Yeah. Good ending. I think I got it in three. Oh. I'm not hitting it at the right time. Nope. There, there we go. go. It's the timing of the, the button. A what? That's the end. Is it? Right? Yes. Yeah. There are no dots on the screen. Yeah. All right. So I am 11 over par. Mm -hmm. You're 80 over par. What is this? What is this final score on the screen? <laughs> what is 80 and 11? We, Did you wrap around past 99 and I got 80? Because I was first player. We are clueless when it comes to playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> Not a game either of us play. I have no uh, idea. Can I run away? I'm going to come right back. Very quickly. Okay. Apologies. I'll drag some cats in with me. Okay. Um, so EA Smith, what does that mean at the top after the game has ended? There's an 80 and there's an 11. I played first. So I got an 80 and she got an 11? I don't think so. We're mostly pretty terrible. EA Smith left a long time ago. Oh, I didn't even notice. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to guess that her score wrapped around 99. I got 80, so she got 99 plus 11, which is not great. Welcome, Spastic. Okay, so very nice. Uh, really good graphics on that game. Um, the controls get a take a little bit of getting used to. And we've got an Atari cat here. Yeah, come here, baby. Yeah. Hello. Oh, he's sleepy. I know he was sleeping Oh, look over at those there. eyes. Oh, he's so sleepy. He's very upset to have been woken up, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, Sorry, poor little kitty cat. Yeah. So the next game we're going to be playing is going to be Arena <laughs> Foot's game. Yeah. Which is Mardi Gras. This is a 2019 work in progress. Uh, it's the first time we've had it on the show. It's by Ross Adkin and uh, Brian Mathern, a.k.a. Titus Renegade. And Arena Foot, this is uh, first sent over to me March 14th, 2019. And this build is July 29th, 2019. It's a 16K game. Other games made by Ross Adkin are Asteroid Rescue, Escape from Cuckoo Cuckoo Temple, Jay Walker, uh, Mardi Gras, uh, Shifty Lifty, uh, Shifty Lifty Plus, and Temple Runner. Um, it is not available yet. It is still in um, alpha, mm -hmm. beta testing. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, available yet, so I'm going to let you add it first. Thank you for subscribing, uh, Spaztastic. And we're going to reset this. Okay, hold down the button. Hold down the button. Yeah. Arena Foot says A dash B testing. A dash B. Somewhere in the middle of A -B. testing. So let's get into uh, uh, Mardi Gras? Yep, Mardi Gras. Woohoo! 
Which and one? the second one. The, second, this, this the one? bin. Always the bin. I just, it was cut off. I wasn't oh, sure yeah. what was going Close. on. Ooh, very nice. Let the title run for I a bit. I like it. I like the um, icon on the screen. Yeah. The, uh, what are those Drama called? Drama masks? I'm not sure. I, I know there's probably a more formal name for them. But... One is, uh, like, comedy and tragedy. Mm -hmm. is that, that's what the representation is. Mm -hmm. It says, by Ross Adkin and Brian Mather. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to bring up the instructions on here. Homebrew game for the Atari 2600 video game system programmed in Batari Basic, 16K game. A uh, huge thanks to Ross Adkin and James O'Brien from the Zero Page Homebrew Show. Michael S Sweet, Sweet. The games are Brock Keehee, Jared Gray West, Adam Howell, Richard Ivey, and Michael Brown. Instructions. The video game is a one-player game. You are attending your first Mardi Gras parade, which we would be because I've never been to Mardi Gras. Have mm -hmm. you? Uh, real Mardi Gras? Yeah, New real Orleans? Mardi Gras. No, no. Yes. No. Not the fake Mardi Gras. <laughs> Not watching it on TV. No, no. no. Uh, Not in New Orleans. Down in good old New Orleans, the jazz band is playing. When the go saints go marching in. Yeah. And you have your daiquiri in hand. Mm. Or wine. Uh, you're ready to party. Get ready. Here <laughs> comes the parade. As a Mardi Gras goer, you want to catch as many throws as possible ah, to be the winner. That sounds like a fun game. The Mardi Gras floats pulled by tractors will start coming down the street across the top of the screen and the float riders are throwing their throws to you. Just like at a real parade, people following the floats try to get the best throws. Now run around as catch as many as you can. Between the floats, there are typical bands, mounted police, and also the uh, flambeau carriers. Yeah. Flambeau? Flame? I don't know. Uh, scoring. There's a purple cup for 10 points, gold beads for 20, a green doubloon for 50. Mm -hmm. Those, those, those. Nice. Um, avoid the horses and their poop. <laughs> Lose the ability to run faster if you run into the poop. Uh. And you temporarily turn brown. <laughs> avoid the flambeau carriers and their flames. Gotcha. Lose a life if you run into the fire. You have three lives per game, so that's really the only way you can die. Oh no. Avoid the police handcuffs or the stray bullets from the guns. Nice. Violent, <laughs> violent game nice. arena. Ah uh, yes, this is this is an American game. Uh, lose a life if you run into either one, yes. Yeah, fair enough. Game tip <laughs> hold down the fire button to run around even faster. Hmm. Okay, so jump All jump right. into it. So there's the float. Ah, ah. Those are handcuffs. Ah. You've lost a life already. What? What am I catching? Not those. those Anything are but the handcuffs. Get that. It's purple what? cup. Purple, purple cup. cup. Purple cup. Gotcha. Purple cup. Gotcha. Not nope. those. Not those. And no guns either. Purple cup. Yay. And that's deer. Ah, or the poop. horse. Horse poop. Nope. It'll slow you down. No, oh, no not guns. Not the guns. Ah! Guns! Ah! Fire! Oh, fire! <laughs> Two deaths. Let's, ah! Oh my goodness, it's going fast and furious now. So it's got a little bit about Mardi Gras. Cartridge, manual, beads, doubloons, king, uh, cake, baby. Well, that is not part of this yet, but uh, there's going to be little extras put in. Yay! Yay, beads! Get in the hand. Oh, slowly. Oh, slowly. Is that blood? Uh, no. What was that? Fire? Fire. From the flambeau. Flambeau. So I'm going to read about the flambeau. Although although um the horses were Poop. pooping out but fire there you. for a second. No, it was it was red though. Oh, that was red? Oh. Ah. oh you're slow oh, now. No. Oh no, slowness. Ah. You're back ah. to normal. Ah. Ah. Clean off <laughs> clean off the poop. Ah. Oh no, no, you're slow I again. Want, I don't want, don't poop on me. The tra tradition of flambeau is a true Louis Louisiana creation. The orig original term flambeau <laughs> oh, is an ancient French word describing a flame or torch used in procession. However, Louisiana is a tra tradition of tra changing and adapting things to make it unique and are truly our own, and the flambeau is no different. Mm -hmm. The New Orleans tradition of using flambeau carries, carries has become famous for their use in the Mardi Gras parades. Fun. Okay, you got 320. Oh, it's terrible. Middle of the but, uh, yeah, hold down the button to run faster. Uh, Still getting getting used to it. Which one? Where did you end up? In keeping with tradition? Middle of flambeau. Tri okay. So 320. Uh, t -t 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 
The New Orleans tradition of using flambeau carries, uh, using flambeau carries, has become famous for their use in Mardi Gras parades. For the advent of electric power, carnival crews relied on men to lead the parades at night by carrying gas torches to light the way. These original flambeau carriers were slaves, but the tradition has lived on, and today's flambeau carriers are an important part of Mardi Gras. Flambeau carriers have become true performers who dance and put on terrific shows for the crowds and often who often throw spare changes tips. Mm. In keeping with tradition, if you score over blank points blank in, Mardi, points. <laughs> in, in Mardi, Mardi Gras the video game, you can receive in the mail your very own Mardi Gras patch. Ah. I, do not see, I do not see a total there, but that's okay. Yeah, he's figuring that out because it's still testing. You don't know how hard it's going to be yet. Yeah, that's very fair. I like this. I don't think I've ever seen a Mardi Gras themed game. No, I bet it's the first. I I, I quite like that. It's a, it's a oh, very unique idea. The poop. The flicker of the tractors are not showing up on the broadcast. You are not watching it at 60 frames a second then. <laughs> RC70 says, I'm seeing it a bit. I'm seeing it a bit. Well, as soon as uh, yeah, I arena stop. foot. I haven't figured out what the total will be. Oh, yeah. some jumpiness. There's a bit of jumpiness here and there. On some things, I haven't figured out what it is, but ah, there we go. Oh, just jumped up a bit in speed again. Oh, it's jumping again. Oh, it's really fast now. Yeah, it really oh, does. there it was dropping. Dropping red poop. Red poop, <laughs> yeah. There's a little bit of red poop in there. I think of a deer... Poop on fire. The deer follows the flambeau. It's not deer, it's a horse. Oh, deer. <laughs> you keep calling it a deer. It looks like a deer. I don't know <laughs> why. Skinny. It's too skinny. Ah. I like avoiding everything now. It's too scary. There it is. Yep. Yep. There's a... There's something to look for. There. <laughs> yep. The horse follows the flambeau. It's, oh, it's, it's red. red poop. The poop is red. <laughs> if you get hit by it, though, do you die? Uh, that is I, the question. Yeah, that is the question. My goodness. It's like, there oh, I got you. No, oh, I see you have three lives. It's just so fast. It gets it's faster scary. and faster, and it, it's not related to your score, I don't think. No, is it? it's, it's time, not. As time you passes. got a pretty decent score. That was, that was um, red poop, wasn't it? No, or was it a flambeau? It was flambeau. Yeah. I keep my eye out now. Should I die on the... No, no, no. On purpose? Keep playing. Keep playing. Oh, oh, slow dog covered in poop! <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, now it's really fast. Yeah, it's really sped up now. I, it's too scary. I just have a... You just, you, you, you have everything. a natural tendency to just avoid. <laughs> like, I'm not going to get any more score, because it's too scary. Something's going to hit you eventually. Yeah, and I'll either get points or die. Oh, slowed down. Uh, Covered in dung. Yeah. Oh, got something. Oh. Ah. oh. One, one more life. I'm still covered. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, hit by a stray American gun. 4.30. <laughs> yeah, Arena Foot says it's timed. <laughs> Red should be a... F so... Red should be a flame from the flambo. 430. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think the flame needs a yellow outline if possible, like a guy spraying his hypodermic. A needle all over the cloud. Uh, Lots of poo. <laughs> I do feel like there needs to be more score. Like, there's a lot of horrible things to avoid and not a lot of things to get your score up. Uh, there's enough. I was just avoiding no, everything. No, but it's, it seems like at the beginning you would want it to be the score to go up and then it get harder as oh, you go. If, if you know what I mean, like, that would be my suggestion. Like more things and less danger? And then, then it becomes more dangerous as if that's even possible. I yeah. don't, I don't uh, know. I think so. Yeah. Because it seems like it's slow, but there's a lot of... Like, I had... A lot of handcuffs in my original. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or that's a way to ramp up the difficulty too, is to make it uh, the balance of good versus right. good versus Instead bad. of the speed. Yeah. Yeah. That might be good. 
Man, those because, horses. Because at the top speed, I just I don't have enough time to make a decision whether it's good or not. Well, it, it's, it's hard. It's just too fast. I have to avoid everything. And you just feel and like avoiding stop. continuously. And then I stop getting score. Yeah, I feel like you do need maybe a little bit more score. Uh, see right now this one seems better like the first game I played there was it was like a lot of handcuffs so I think it's quite random like completely Probably. random what you're getting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fast enough you can press the button I know I keep forgetting that but I, I feel really I feel very out of control too <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh. Small asteroids are beads. Yeah, they're little um, jades. Beads or they're coins, I think, aren't they? No, yeah, they, they were described they're... as like um, what were they called? Green doubloons. So yeah, they yeah, are coins, they're coins. That, but happen to be green. Let's see what happens when. Oh, that was very close. Let's see what happens when you run into red poop. <laughs> Poor horses are having trouble. Oh, if they have red that's poop. Terrible. That's a bad that's, sign. That's a very bad. Uh, they need to get off the parade. There, red poop. Red poop. You do die. You do die in the red poop. <laughs> it's poop that someone set on fire. That's right, flaming, <laughs> flaming poop, flaming horse poop. Green doubloons. Oh, you're twisting this. Sorry, I do that. <laughs> too intense. No, I get very excited. Yeah, the button movement. Oh, it's not too fast, but it is pretty fast if you hold down the button. Somebody record Tanya's score? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah, Arena Foot. It's really, the, uh, recording the key scores. is to get as many points as possible at the beginning because it just it gets, gets really hard. Yeah. Too hard. Ah. Yeah. So, possibly a better ramp up. I mean, speed is good after a while, but I think oh, it gets yeah. the speed I, is too much. I just kind of wish there were more. I think more more scoring, more good stuff at the beginning, and then increase the bad stuff. Like that horse could poop more as it gets as it gets. Uh, it does poop further. more. It does poop more. I don't think as so. It I think speeds it just up. gets faster. Really? No. Yeah. I, I I mean the first level he Zero. poops like One. once. There. Yeah. Oh, I don't think so. No, I. Or you think it's it's is it random? I think it's I just know. speed. Yeah. Do you still have V thirteen, James? Uh, Try yeah, V13 but, uh, instead. I'd have to do a bunch of stuff and turn off the Atari for a bit. What's V13? It's different versions of the game. Oh, I see, I see, I see. But we can try that. Ah, so I'm almost to the point. I think one more up and It gets I'm really done. hard. Even now it's hard, and I'm pressing the button to try and get over to the... Oh, there we go. It's a bit better. Oh, did I get that? No. Uh, you can pretty well uh, hear it. Uh, oh, it's too fast now. It's getting too scary. Oh, I tried to get the gun. <laughs> uh, Good thing you didn't. Yeah. There, I got something. Got something. Got it. Got it. Uh. Oh, flickery. Almost got that. Oh. It's good though. I do like that the variety of things that come down because yeah, it, 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 it's it, all one or two. No, things. and it's you, your brain really has things. to shift modes. Like that's bad. That's good. That's bad. That's good. And then it's like, oh, it does horse get mode. really chat. It gets really challenging fast. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> one more. Oh. Trying to go for the doubloon. Um, okay. Version is 13 is a uh, too quick. I don't think it's too fast, too too quick. But I do wish it was a bit higher scoring. Yeah. 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 I I would suggest yeah more good things to begin with. <laughs> more good things, slowly changing into more bad things, and then ramping up the speed. And maybe when the speed ramps up, go back to more good things again, and then bad things, then do another speed increase. That might be a good uh, method of the, the speed ups. Do 
floats throw cups. Yes, I suppose. To. Hoping Ross can do that. So the things that they're sh throwing again, yeah, are purple cups, oh, gold goodness. beads, and green doubloons. I didn't know they threw cups. Did I've never been there, so all yeah. I know of is the beads. All so I know is the beads. That's the big thing. The lore. Is the beads. I oh, uh, right into it. Uh, never heard of the yeah. coins, but I, coins don't seem out of place. You know, throwing coins. The cups, like, what? Why would you throw cups? What's, what's the deal with cups? Sure there's some reason. Are they for drinking? I guess. <laughs> Use the cups for drinking. Ooh, good dodger. Oh, oh. oh that's ramping up in speed now. The doubloons started in 1960. They started cups in 1980. Mm. The cups are for holding the beads. Are they normal cups? Like. Well, they're purple. <laughs> purple cups, yeah. See, Very now colorful. I'm just dodging. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, ah, it's scary. It's just red scary poop. Now. Red poop. <laughs> red poop. Ah, I see. Dead, I'm like avoiding the things I want to get. Deadly red poop. Deadly red poop. Ah, I gotta get something. I'm not gonna have any score. It's funny that the death is based on the color of the item you're running into, mm -hmm. and not the level you're on. Mm. Oh, terrible! I'm doing terrible. Whoa, it was close. Yeah, no, you didn't get a lot of points in the beginning. Oh, yeah. oh goodness. Okay, we're yeah. gonna give version Ooh. 13 a try. With Mac. And then, uh... Tumblers, aren't they? Tumblers, yeah. Mm. Well, that's a type of cup, right? A tumbler. Are they talking about people who tumble? Okay. Oh, come on. The computer is not being nice. I have to do it a different way. There we go. Okay, let's go back to version 13. Mardi Gras. Oh, there you go. Don't have to look at a blue screen anymore. Version 13, there it is. Copy. Put it onto my thing that's not showing up. Nice. Karina Foote says, want to have the beads, king cake baby, doubloon, and a cup with the game. Like as an extra when you when uh, you order it. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> that's a good idea. People yes. like little extras. Who doesn't like the extra stuff? Paste that in. There Cart and manual one released. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Hold it down. And a big Mardi Gras release party. <laughs> yeah. Release it on Mardi Gras. On Mardi Gras. <laughs> okay. Bottom one. Okay. Go for it. Is it different? Yep. Yeah. It's an earlier version. I'm guessing this doesn't ramp up as quickly. I don't mind the fast ramping up. I mean, you have to adjust to the to the to the game, and yeah, I don't mind that necessarily. And we can run with the button. I have more control with, without it, though. True, it is very fast. Oh yeah, it's like no, 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 no. Slower ramp up. You should get close to one thousand in scoring. Mm. Oh, okay. The um, the truck at the top looks like it's flickering. Um, A touch. And I don't know why it would need to. It just looks like player one and player zero and player one together. And it's probably just the Batari basic kernel that you're using. But it's it's just two sprites, right? Two players. 
Um, it's not like three. It's not doing multiple colors. So you could probably get it so it's not flickering if you use the right kernel up there, I would think. Use the button only to get to the far edge. Hmm. Mm, yeah, I can see that being a good... Like to get out of the way, he means? Possibly. Yeah. I think so. Ross is a programmer. It's just my game idea. Yeah. Mm. No, I'm just playing. Go. Just playing. Oh, yeah. You're already 570. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot. Uh, it definitely, yeah. It definitely is easier. I'm noticing more that come down almost like two at a time. That's I'm guessing better. that's something. No, I, I'm guessing that's just something that was corrected in the second version because I didn't mm. notice that at all. Oh, yeah. A them, lot of them things being are coming that, down. That oh, them, this is way better. Yeah, There's it is more a little, stuff coming the, down. The speed is a little easier for sure. Uh, definitely higher scoring. Oh, to get the items on the far edges if you wanted to run to them. That's, yes, yeah, yeah, I get it. The flaming, flaming horse diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. Four um, horses ate something off the ground. Mm -hmm. Now they're having intestinal troubles. Mm -hmm. Intestinal distress. <laughs> intestinal distress. Oh, oh, now, oh, oh, now it's really ramping up in speed. They're almost at a thousand. Ah. Just a couple more items. In theory. In theory. In theory. Oh, oh, that would have been a good one. Oh, oh, oh it's so. There you go. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, slowness. Oh, oh good. You ah. caught it. Nope, nope. Oh. Ah. So close. Ah, ah, they're too oh, close no. together. <laughs> no, Ooh. no, no more flambos. You did it, Yay. a thousand. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Got a couple it's more. almost more incidental. It's like, I'm like, I'm, yeah, accident. this is the thing. When it gets fast, you just start avoiding everything. Yeah, because you don't have enough time to recognize whether it's good or bad. Well, you still ah. have a bit. That was fun. Yeah. Good job. Yep. Good job. Very good. Very good. And I like the yeah. concept too. That's really Yeah, good. great concept. Yeah. Speeds up fast at 900. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Enjoyable. Mm -hmm. It's a good game. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go to Pitfall now. Pitfall. Now we're going to be going for the patch. I just pulled this out of. Uh, Pull this out of the bin. I don't know if uh, it's going to work or not. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Ooh. You pulled it out of the bin? The bin, the bin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hasn't been played in many years. <laughs> and now we're playing music. <laughs> Pitfall of music. Mm -hmm. Oh, yay! Okay. I'm going to give it to you. And I will read briefly about it. About Pitfall? Oh, it just starts as soon as you press. Yay, David Crane. You just fell down the pit. I thought that's... <laughs> that's the name of the game. No. Okay. You want to jump over those? Nope. And jump over those. Don't fall down the pits. Oh, <laughs> oh this is great. Um, this was put out in <laughs> April 20th, 1982 by David Crane and Activision. Uh, their games made by David Crane is uh, Unreleased Boggle, Outlaw, Canyon Bomber, Slot Machine, Dragster, Fishing Derby, Laser Blast, Freeway, which we won, Grand Prix, Kaboom, which I'm dreading, Pitfall, The Activision Decathlon, Pitfall 2, Lost Caverns, Skateboarding, and a number of games for other systems, such as... Oh, they can see the game in the reflection. Ah. There you go. How do and I jump off this down oh there we go thank you this for the notice so <laughs> uh, the reflection's good. not good enough no, for you to see the on. the game in it's just like in uh you know detective shows where you have to zoom in and rotate flip reflect, enhance enhance, enhance. Yep. Pitfall is a video game designed by David Crane for the Atari 2600 and released by Activision in 1982. The player controls Pitfall Harry and is tasked with collecting... No. Tasked with collecting all the treasures in a jungle within 20 minutes while avoiding obstacles and hazards. 
Pitfall received positive reviews upon release and is one of the best-selling games on the Atari 2600. With over 4 million copies sold, it was the top video game on the Billboard charts for more than a year. They had Billboard charts for the Atari? That's ah. interesting. Inspired numerous sequels and ports across a variety of consoles, uh, game consoles helped define the side-scrolling platformer genre. So the world record for this game is... It says elapsed time. That's impossible. Um, time left, I believe, is 1 minute and 42 seconds. Hmm. Set back in 2006... 0614. Oh, well, he said the the reflection was pretty clear actually. <laughs> in the, in the, like we moved the pillows out of the way, it might even work. Um, so let's read a little bit about from the manual. And uh, yep, press reset. So you didn't get even one treasure yet. I, I've never played this game. Oh, think. you haven't? No, I don't think I have. I've seen okay. people play it. I've seen you play it. Oh, okay. I don't think I've actually played it before. A little piece of trivia mm -hmm. in the um, commercial for Pitfall, television commercial. Jack Black was in it. As a child? As a child. Shut up, really? Yep. That's One that's, of his uh... first acting gigs. Uh, picture this. You're deep in the recesses of a forbidden jungle, an unforgiving place few explorers ever survive. But you've got courage, because you're with Pitfall Harry, the world-famous jungle explorer and fortune hunter extraordinaire. The lure of hidden treasure draws you and Harry deeper and deeper into the bush. But, being a great explorer, you wouldn't think of starting such a difficult journey without reading this manual first, very carefully. How to use a joystick, how to use your Atari 2600. You start each advantage, adventure with 2,000 points. Some misfortunes will cause a deduction in points. Uh, should you fall down the hole by accident, you will lose 100. Rolling logs will also cause points lost depending on how long contact is made with them. You fell down. Uh, yeah, I gathered that. <laughs> uh, each treasure you find adds points to your score. There are eight of each type of treasure in the entire game. Oh, I guess I'll go. just jump over. 32 ah. in all. There's your first treasure. Wait. And wait. Run. Run, 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 run. Yay. So that was a gold bar worth 4,000 points. There's diamond rings worth 5,000. Silver bar, 3,000. Money bag, 2,000. Um, you have 20 minutes to complete each adventure. Harry has three lives in each game, the hazards of pitfall. There's never nothing on the ground. There's always that. So never just start running when it's blank. Um, Harry is lost for the third time or when time runs out. There are 255 jungle scenes through which Harry can travel. The scene covered uh, underground is equivalent to three on the surface. So if you go underground, you can oh, safer when they're closed. Yeah, but and then you can position the timing. Yourself. The timing of it is. Uh... They're closed for quite a bit. Oh. No, no, you can stay on them uh, on their head. No, but then when they open, you die. Nope, you can stay on their head. Their little, the little head, not their really? jaws, their head. Oh, yeah. that's a trick. I, that would have been nice. To know. Sorry. Jack Black. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's still a gamer. Oh, yeah. We just watched him do something with PewDiePie the other day. That's right. Watched him play Minecraft with PewDiePie and set his house on fire. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. Yes. Um, so, if you score 20,000 points or more on any one of your adventures with Harry, you'll be eligible to join this prestigious organization, which is uh, Pitfall Harry's Explorer Club. Just send us a picture of your TV screen showing your score, and we'll present you with a special Explorer Club membership emblem. Um, tips from David Crane. As you set off on your first adventure with Harry, you'll notice two important features. That the logs always roll from right to left. That the replacement Harrys, after Harry loses the life, drop from the screen on the left side of the screen. So to minimize the number of rolling logs to be jumped and the catastrophic hazards to be retried, simply run to the left. You're saying I can sit here? Uh -huh. Yes. 
Uh, Pitfall Harry's trip must be weighed through a maze of surface and underground passages through the jungle. To capture all 32 treasures in under 20 minutes, Harry will have to use some of the underground passages. I'd suggest that you make a map of the terrain each time you play. Knowing the jungle and planning the best route to all the treasures, the only way to ensure success time after time. Until you get really skilled at making Harry jump from croc to croc, you might want to wait until the crocodile's jaws are closed. Jump to the top of the first croc's head, then wait for the jaws to open and close again before jumping to the next one. Soon you'll be skipping across crocs like they're stepping stones in a stream. If you can find any writing materials deep in the jungle, drop me a line. I'd love to hear how you and Harry are getting along. So, how did David Crane fit 255 levels in only 4K? It's pretty amazing, all these different configurations. Well, well you can move back a bit when they're yeah, close. Yeah, you have to. I mean, that's yeah. the thing. It's, it's very it's, tough. It's um, getting used to the, the movement because, yeah, you can't. So oh, what to do it there. David Crane did... said in 1982 uh, blah 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 even though the video game allowed Harry to travel through a huge jungle with 255 locations including then cutting edge graphics including snakes scorpions alligators and four different types of treasures the entire game fit in only 4096 bytes let me repeat that 4096 bytes not kilobytes not megabytes just bytes byte is the equivalent of one or probably two pages of written text Storing the jungle. As mentioned above, this 4,096 byte game store 255 levels. In that little space, it was not possible to have even a 256 byte lookup table with a map of the jungle. Instead, David Crane used a pseudo random number generator. In particular, there are two pieces of code. One piece is that gives the random number generator to calc uses the random number generator to calculate what the screen to the right of a given screen looks like and another piece of code, the inverse function, that calculates what happens when one travels to the left. At the beginning of the game, Pitfall Harry starts in location C4, which means this room has a ladder in the middle, a single unmoving log, and a wall to the right-hand side of the screen underground. Immediate to the left position is C to C4 is E2, which has a scorpion underground and a crocodile pit. So, the way... I'm not going to read out the very hard to understand instructions, but each screen in this game is calculated by the screen before or after it, the one you just came from. And it's it has a reverse calculation to remake the screen again if you go back. So it's not just garbage again when you go back. It's the exact same screen, no matter which way you go. And, and the calculation also loops around at the 256th screen. So that when you wrap around all 255 screens, it's one big maze. It's a um, really, really ingenious way of not storing the map. You can jump over both logs at the same time. Yeah, yep. I know, I did that. Good. Getting the hang of all the different types yeah. of screens. Yeah. It's kind of like different mixes of the same thing mm -hmm. so arena foot says he's planning on a patch having a patch somewhere over 1k because his high score uh is 1250 1k mm, i think it higher than that at least 1500 yeah the alligators are the hardest part for sure harry looks sunburned now he does look sunburned. Well, he looks sunburned on our screen too. He looks oh. a little more sunburned on the on the broadcast screen. Oh, does it's he? A little bit darker. He's he, got, he he's does, got a little bit of sun. He does look like he has uh, he's had a long day out in the sun. I have to quite say, quite bright pink here, but he's uh, got a little bit too much color. It's better than it was before. A feature of the game I never noticed. No, he's a bit a better pink on the original screen. We've been trying to get a perfect um, color copy. Oh, come on. It's Wasting not, all your treasure no, score. It's like it's not uh, there you listening go. to my uh, 
presses. Okay, let's go back to some information. So there is a pitfall map and a pitfall walkthrough to that optimizes the path through the maze. Because it's kind of a maze, because um, David Crane, even in the manual, says in order to get done in under 20 minutes, you do have to make a map. Because it's just too many screens to traverse 256 screens on above above the ground oh there you go next one careful run 9,000 you're halfway there am I? yep yeah, you have to get 20,000 20? yep yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> stress stress ah. Mr. Fix says he destroyed many a joystick playing this game really? I guess just the like the tenseness of it. I guess. Oh, oh, oh into the I thought water. I was. I thought I was off the edge there. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, so the Whoop. question is: Should I just run for it like an ignoramus to the right, or should I use the map to maximize the speed of getting the treasure? You want me to? But how does the me. map? So using the map that already exists, or yes. Like, somebody already drew it. Like, oh, we're I not going to waste our time. This game is, <laughs> like, this game is a gonna, million years old. Am I so. going to be the, um, the cartographer of this, this right. game? Yeah. So I'm going to open you up. You say you just run for it. Do do, do a do run. A, just do a run just first. Just run, 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 and see how far you can get. Okay, just like And you. then we can, uh, yeah, which, but I'm learning how to play at the same time. Okay. And it's nice the clock doesn't start until you move. Um, that was really nice. Of David Crane to do that. Oh, see, wrecked a perfect score already. <laughs> if the perfect score is 144,000. Uh, okay, 144,000. Yeah. Wow. And that gets every treasure without getting hit. Getting by, hit once, kind of thing. Yeah. By a, a log or falling. But if you're going left, then you wouldn't have encountered that. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Big That's chunk. Terrible. Because mm -hmm. after this gold bar, I think you encountered one. Not too far after this. It took a little while to get to yeah. the next one. Oh my god, that was terrible. Uh, Mr. Fix, I thought I saw a JPEG someone did showing a map of Pitfall. Yeah, I think yeah. I've seen that too, where it's the whole thing. Yeah. I have a link to it in my notes. Yeah. So that's what we would use. That's what we will use. Because if you use the underground, you pass three at a time, three screens. The underground, but there yeah. are walls. There are walls, so you have to have no map. where the where the I see what you're saying. Ah, so the map really helps. But mm -hmm. see, that wall had an, another wall on the other side, mm -hmm. but you would bypass that wall because you're skipping three screens. Even though there's a wall there, it's not really. There. Because you don't, you You're don't skipping three screens. Yeah, at a time when you go underground, mm. so you, you just have to jump over those scorpions and things. Yeah, and they are very precise timing because of their width and height. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, they're like pixel um, within a pixel. The trees are really well done 
in this. Mm -hmm. And the way that's accomplished is that they're above anything that anything else, right? Mm. Um, See, so they have little tree branches, so Harry never gets up there. No. So he's able to use all the capabilities of the graphics. Yeah. She does look a little tanned on our screen right he now. He looks too. really red. Yeah. He looks really red. He's very pink. Um, <laughs> very, very pink. Yeah. It's like you when we went to Mexico that one time. Oh, sunburn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a long way to the second treasure. It is. It, it is. That's why you need the map. Because you, you can't complete the game without the without a map and skipping. To screens. know where you should go down and up. Yeah. Uh, okay. way to the next treasure mm -hmm. but you can probably beat the game by just running to the right or get the patch I mean by just running to the right like that maybe not maybe you made it so it's like really hard to get the patch it's a, that it's way it's a difficult patch yeah. but he does get the patch is at 10,000 you said 20 20, yeah, so double your current score. Uh, yeah, double. So I need like two good um, treasures mm -hmm. or multiple three or four minor ones. Actually, even two good ones aren't enough. I need at least three more treasures. Is that a good one? Uh, I believe that's the best one. Yeah. Ooh, 5, very 000. nice. Yeah. Very nice. So I need two more minimum. Minimum. Yeah, you lose points by... Oh, there's another one. Not a good one. No? no. It looks like, um... Fool's gold or... <laughs> lead. Lead. The lead. The oh. lead treasure. Yes. There's another one. Mm. Well, I might just make it on this one. Maybe? There we go! <gasps> Yay! Doing it the hard way. Uh, RC70, do you lose points falling down the ladder? I think you just lose time. Time for the ladder, yeah. yeah. I don't think you lose points mm -hmm. at all, do you? Not for falling down the ladder. Oh, you're going to get even more. Good job. Yay. Bag of cash. See, there's a bunch in a row here. There are tons in a row. Oh, my God. It's like once you hit, maybe it's like once you hit the, the first one, it's like, okay, you're pretty close to the rest. Yeah. Patch! That was, that was it. Said, <laughs> said, yeah, I knew this one would be like... Not mm. as bad as it seems. Yeah. Well, I think this is probably a, probably a pretty cheap do. patch to get because, like, it's really easy to get. So probably a lot of people got, oh. got this patch. My first death. A uh, second? No. No? Of course, it's on an alligator. Mm-hmm. Always a challenge. I do oh. like I do like those little alligators. Pretty cute. Oh, down the hole. They are cute alligators. No, you lose points. You do lose, lose points. points. Yeah, with the with the logs. With the logs, no, but falling down the hole, I don't oh. think you do. I think that was the question. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Sid. Everyone's gonna go out and get the patch now. <laughs> well, well, I know there's no physical. There's patch, no physical patches anymore unless you buy them. It's an emotional patch on your soul. You That's know? right. It's, it's a it's a virtual a, patch. It's a virtual patch. 
Haha, <laughs> the lead is supposed to be silver. It does look like lead, though. <laughs> yeah. It is that Not color. Very shiny. It needs to be almost a little whiter or something. The the color yeah. tone is it just it's I I it almost looks like a brilliant brick of cement. To be honest, <laughs> that's what shiny it looks like. Cement. It's like shining cement or cement that's radiating heat. Okay, so um, keep going. Well, I, I it's impossible to win. I'm just going to run out of well, time. Well, you're not going to win. You're just going to get as good a score you can in in your 20 minutes, right? Yeah, I guess that's what I should do at this point. Do it at that. This you're doing you're doing well enough. You've you've gotten your patch. Yeah, cuz I in the would, mail now. It, so It's in the mail. They know. They've been watching. Yeah. People at Activision. Oh, they they know. I can jump over to them. Chernobyl cement. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Chernobyl cement. Yeah. There it is again. Yep, the shiny cement. The shiny ir irradiating cement. Oh. It's like radium or something. I don't know. <laughs> but definitely an incredibly impressive game for the time because look at the... The, the animation of the running. Oh, it's fabulous. The, the flicker of the f oh. of the fire and the um, multicolored uh, fire. The nice animation of the um, scorpion underground. Rolling logs. Yeah, and then starts the, rolling. The nice, uh -huh. the nice canopy. I like the canopy. I think that's really nice. Mm-hmm. No, there's 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 a lot of detail. Oh, thirty-seven four oh eight. Still good. Yeah. Still good. Yep, yep. Mardi Gras needs to steal that flame graphic. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Flicker as it goes away all the way down. And so the flaming. It's totally well, possible. Flaming poop. <laughs> yeah, the flaming poop. <laughs> Nine different display kernels. Yeah, if you look, mm. there's a score, mm. a score. Those are the same kernel. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's one. Um, maybe in, you can say it's another one, but I would classify it the same and just change the change the uh, color of the score to nothing. Mm -hmm. um, then there's one for the upper tree canopy where it's the the wavery play field of the green, and then two play repeating player graphics on the left and right there. Um, I think it's triplicated, two triplicated, and then another one going down, which can have the swinging rope, mm -hmm. and then one for the log and the, the man, like everything, there's a lot on that one, and then another blank one, and then the scorpion, mm -hmm. and then the copyright. So, is that about nine? I think so. Uh -huh. Pitfall patches are not cheap, probably because mm. they're sought after, but this must be one of the easiest patches to get. Like, I think Maybe. you could definitely get this. Oh, I think if I could, yeah, yeah. yeah. Playing it even I, one I more time. I just need to get comfortable with it, and I think I could do it. I think it, one yeah. more time you could get it. Well, I don't know about that, but, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't take too much practice, I don't think. So I'm going to show off Oof. one thing more thing mm -hmm. now that we have accomplished that i may go back and try for a perfect game um in a later date mm. that's hard because you can't run into any logs or fall down anything well yeah you hit with something once and you're restarting yep. right like a yep. perfect game is Even pretty once. pretty tight it has to be pretty tight what uh we're gonna be playing uh very briefly because it's just pitfall again uh thomas yentz's yentz's um <laughs> Yenches. Uh Pitfall X two fifty six. Okay. Um, this he had programmed Pitfall with two hundred and fifty six different mazes. Instead of this, like this game only has the maze. Oh, That's I see. It. It's one standard. One maze. standard maze. Nice. So what he did is extended it and randomized it. Uh, not random. They are static. So if you go into today's date again, um, he put this out on June 24th, 2017. He said, That's I had nice. a few hours of spare time. Yeah. Uh, hold down the button on the top one. Hold down the button. 
a little longer. Yeah, that one, NTSC. Yeah, let go and press it to load it. Uh, based on my old disassembly from 2001, uh, created a little hack of Pitfall. This hack allows you to select one of 256, all new va maze variations, mm. especially for those who still have fun in mapping screens and underground passages. Enjoy! Uh, NTSC and PAL 60. Uh, when you with select, you can manually select a variation. If you press select and reset, simultaneously the game will select a random variation for you. If you hold down the switches, the selection is now accelerated. Mm. So... Do a random one, then. Uh, well, this is as random as any, the first sure. level for us. Okay, go for it. It's treasure right away, too. Oh my too. gosh, so fast. Is it? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you do hell? that? What? How, how would you I bet you have that? to jump into it and jump out of it. What? No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> So watch. Uh, Strafin913 says, I played a perfect game of Pitfall back in the day. Oh. Once ever, also high. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hey, Strafin. Strafin? Strafin. Strapen. <laughs> Strapen. 913. Strafin. Yeah. Okay, so. Strafin. Strafin. <laughs> How do you do that one? <laughs> I don't know. What? It's Thomas. too fast. Thomas. What are you, what's going on, man? Like, I was thinking like that, and then jump oh, up almost. Oh, maybe, maybe. You just have to time it perfectly. Or you have to go around it, underground. Mm, but why is it so Can you fast? Go backwards? Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. Everything else is the same speed. Uh, oh. Nope, another fast one. Why is it so fast? <laughs> what? That's hilarious. What the hell? I don't like this. It's pretty funny. <laughs> what? Oh, look at that. Drops you from the, the, the direction side you, you came, came in, in on. on. Nope, that's not fast enough. <sighs> what? Uh, stray fen. Stray fen. Stray fen. So stray it's like fen. stray fen. Stray fen. Fair enough. Oh, that oh, was close. My God. That was close. Now I see why you get so many more lives. <laughs> One more, I think. Uh, oh, no. At least. Oh, man. oh that's so what? crazy! That is so crazy. Oh, oh almost. I think I would have made that. That's crazy. I'm gonna try it on this part here. No, no too I early. Was, yeah. He is pretty, he is pretty, uh, sunburned today. No. <laughs> what? Come on. No. <laughs> is this possible? But they're going to be all the same. This, I don't know. This, Are they? This craziness. <laughs> that thing is going to is be it, the same. Is it? Is it? Uh, is there something wrong with the setting of it that it's moving faster than it should? I think so. That one's normal. Is that one normal? Yeah. That one looked normal. Yep. More normal anyway. The the Troll barrels. The barrels are <laughs> yeah exactly. Logs. The barrels. The logs. Whatever they are. Um, so they're gross. rolling from the other side now, too. Oh, well, look, two fires. Oh. You did change this quite a bit, actually. Fancy. Ah. Oh, see, they're coming from the other side uh, now. I wonder if I go back on this level, would they roll the other way? Pause. Nope. Interesting. Look at that. Oh, this is crazy. That swing is faster. Oh, look at this. Yeah, but the, you did one, and it was fine. And two. I did. Things are different. In this yeah, pitfall. no, it's nice. Give us, I wonder if the if you'll see some alligators uh, <laughs> opening from the other side. Maybe. Oh, that'd be different. Ah. I haven't gone underground, but it doesn't look like anything is different. No, the underground looks about the same. Look how fast that is. It's, it's 
so fast. That one looks... No, that one's fast too. I'm going to die. It is fast. Hell, uh, I have to go underground. You can't, though. Oh, you have to go all the way back. There. Oh! Nope. Not gonna happen. I bet there's a way to do it, but it probably just has to be perfectly timed. Yeah. Ah! Ow! This sh might bypass it if it has the right number of screens. Mm. Oh, he chases it. Close. Yeah, he turns around. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I could have told you that. It's not too bad jumping. Mm. But you do have to get very close. So this is a painful, painful game. I don't know about that disappearing one. I get really close, like within a pixel, I think, of being able to get it. But I didn't see any. <laughs> I should have known. There's never not <laughs> something in the middle. I should have known. That one looks normal. Oh. That one's a normal one. It's tons of time. Tons of time. It must be troll. Find the hidden bomb and blow up the wall. See? Look how fast that's moving. Yeah, I think you have to avoid these. Like, that's the, th I don't, that's I the don't ticket. Know. You have to go around them somehow. No, too slow. <sighs> Way too slow. To jump into it before it's disappeared. No. Way too no. slow. Even that, I think that was it. I, I was even jumping too late. Yeah, see, there was still like another. Oh, so close. That was close. very close because you still, there was still and time. Let I me mean, uh... find hidden bomb and blow up wall. <laughs> Is there such a thing in Pitfall? Uh, no. So let's just try this. Let me try. Let me try and jump this. If this is... Oh, no, not with moving ones. That's okay. That's t it's no, no, it's slow. It's slow, it's though. It's a slow one. I don't want a slow one. I want a fast one. Any of the black ones seem to be fast. Oh, are they? Yeah. No, that's slow. Weird. That's gonna... Yeah, that's fast. There we go. That's one for good practice. No, there's no bombs. <laughs> he says, no, that's why it's hidden so well. Nope, that's too slow. You have to jump before it closes. Open? Yeah, there you go. Almost when it's full. That's when it's jumped. full, and then, yeah. yeah. That's how you do it. <sighs> oh. You jumped a little suit too soon, possibly. Yeah. You go get that radiated cement. <laughs> Way too early. Way too early. Yeah. I'm sure he wouldn't make it so it's impossible. Oops. Sorry, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> there you nope, go. too slow. Oh! It is possible. Yeah. Oh my god. It's possible, but you have to you do it. You time it perfectly. Yes. Oh Way my to god. Go. Have you ever seen streams of those games? Hmm where levels are just really 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 hard and you just have to figure out how to do them oh it's just it's 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 precise it's perfectly precise oops <laughs> yeah it's like speed runs like when you yeah. see people who are really good at speed running and like everything is just perfectly timed oh so oh, close, I, so close. That. I think i got a good yeah that is that is tough though that that Here. now it's your turn oh, to do gosh. it oh gosh <laughs> Uh, a little slow. Oh, so close. Just a touch slow. You think so? Yeah. No, oh, no, no. Opposite. Way too slow. It's like almost the exact You have to do it as it, it opens. You have Not to do as it. it opens, just when it hits open. No. Long time. Not when it closes. 
No. No. <laughs> See, that's what you were doing. <laughs> it looks so it's funny. Like, it's like, <laughs> you're just jumping into the void. Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> See, it's the same thing. It's like, oh, it just ever so slightly too fast. That's really funny. It is. <laughs> He's like no. suicidal. I know, I know it was too early. <laughs> Wee! Wee! <laughs> Throwing yourself. Yes, that's pretty good. Yay! Hey, woohoo! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm right in the. I knew I was too close. And death. Oh, sadness. I love that little the 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 music that plays when you uh, when you catch the uh Kapoi 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 <laughs> Strafen says Oh here's one get it get it get that ring No too late Oh so close yep. Yep. one more two more chances one more chance e maybe Yay! Yeah Woo! The, oh gosh! Got the uh, high score. The <laughs> twenty thousand here. And the hard pitfall. <laughs> the hard, I don't know. Oh, it's gonna open. It's gonna open. Oh! <laughs> There's never nothing. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> good job. Listening. That's fun though. I yeah, like that's that. a that's a good variation. That actually adds adds quite a bit of difficulty. And once it you does. figure it out, it's, it's quite that. hard. It's it has to be timed Super very perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely recommend fun. that um, yeah. hack. If yeah, it's want. fun. Or or if if uh, like uh, Strafen. Yep, Strafen. Strafen, Strafen. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, his he's he's an expert of the game. If he's if he's you know gotten the high score, it's a very fun hack to play. You know, if you're yep. looking for a little bit more. So, so that hack is called yeah. um, X. It's called Pitfall X two fifty six, and I can actually link it to everybody mm -hmm. uh, in one second as soon as I get. I was I should always keep the uh, the stream up. Where is it? There's Twitch. Then I can post paste things in here because I've forgotten that I could do that. Is that the chat? Yes. Does this work? <laughs> there we go. Yay! Oh, that should be doing that all the time for these uh, for the games and stuff. There you go. I think I played my perfect game when I was eleven. Yeah. Good luck on a perfect game on this because yeah. Well, you'd have to map it out again and do it again, but it's still just fun playing it in general. <laughs> Um, because there's so many different variations. There's like two snakes now and fast water and the fast holes are, are yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. 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 Very cool though. So thank you so much for mm -hmm. joining us today. Um, I know we're a bit saturated in the colors <laughs> here. Tanya was messing with the camera settings. Hey, not for this, for something completely different. For something different, else. And I didn't notice it. I noticed I it last episode, but then I totally forgot. Yeah. That and then we now you've so noticed it again. So bright, vivid. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Could be worse. Mm -hmm. um, so, let me switch back to the chat. Thomas also hacked, hacked Laser Blast random. Oh, Laser Blast! I really dread playing Laser Blast for the patch. Yeah, it's a tedious, tedious game. Mm. It's the exact same level over and over. Really? You're a little guy at the top. You go blast, blast, blast. Three things in the bottom. Okay. Repeat forever. Oh. Till you get the high score. Yeah, that's They shoot fun. you, you shoot them. If they shoot you, you can land on one of them and blow them up, but that's it. That's, hmm. that's the total extent of the game. Hmm. You have to go blast, blast, blast. Next. Blast, blast, blast. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in and joining us. Uh, Strafen913, new yeah. person. Thank you for yes, joining us. That's awesome. What is this? Direct Relief Charity 2018. Oh, it gives you a little, uh, little, icon, a little icon for nice. things you've done in the, in the past. That's cool. I Sposta, Mr. Fix, Splendid Nut, RC70, Repentless VG, Mr. Fix, I already said, yes. Arena Foot, 
Oh, he, uh, I headed to bed. <laughs> he went to bed <laughs> yeah. a little while ago. Good night, yes. Good night. Um, the games are, who else was chatting with us here, scrolling back? Militant Buddhist 1, all the usual suspects. Games are. Uh, games are Tasty, Tasty Sandwich, sandwich. Uh, Spastic. Who has subscribed? Very I think nice. they subscribed for the. That's the first yeah. time I've seen their name. Yeah. And they subscribed very, just very nice. today, which and is so nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um. Oh, I've I've reset the difficulty switches. I have not reset the difficulty switches. <laughs> I don't think it matters in Pitfall because they didn't specify that you had to do it on a certain thing. Mm. Um. And I don't think it mattered. But thank you for pointing that out in the scrolling back. Um, who else? Uh, oh, that's a new name, Madikins. Oh, I missed that. Got to tell the story again. Mm -hmm. Um, so thanks everybody. Oh, mm -hmm. but, but get I clicked on something accidental. There we go. <laughs> Hate when that happens. There's a chopper command yeah. for Intellivision. Yeah. Someone's doing chopper command for C64. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you as well, Strafen. Have a good uh, have a good time yes. zone. <laughs> yeah, we're in a good time zone here. <laughs> Love the fabric on the pillow. Which one do you like? Do you want do you like the controller one? We also or do you the, like woo, Galaga. the Galaga one? I'm They're going to cool. harass the Atari again. He's been sleeping so soundly. Oh, he's, as we've he's been got playing. sleepy eyes. I oh. know. I'm sorry, my love. Oh. Can you get him purring? No. I don't know. He's 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 oh, kind his of eyes. like oh, he's sleeping he's in your like arms. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I know. He doesn't want to be disturbed, but oh, I have to bring him on cute. camera every once in a while so everyone can see him. Yeah. yeah. Um, so next episode, which is going to be on Wednesday yeah, next you. week with Erlen, we're going to be playing... Uh, I've only got one game scheduled so far. It is called Mid Space, and I think that's a brand new game that came out a couple days ago. Uh, it's kind of a, you're in the middle of the screen and you're shooting left and right. You're shooting pretzels, which is very strange, but... Hey, it's video games. <laughs> 80s video games make no sense. Except Pitfall. That kind of makes sense. You're Pitfall, jumping yeah. around. Mm -hmm. A lot of them made no sense at all. Um, and I'm on the hunt mm -hmm. for some more games. And if you want to see me play a homebrew game I've never played on the show before, make sure you let me know on the Atari Age forums or on Facebook or on Instagram or anything else you can find me. Or even Twitch, but Twitch has a terrible chat system. Don't message me on twitch it's a nightmare chat system <laughs> it's not like an inbox they just pop up and you reply and then they're gone super weird um and then there's one more show that's with darcy and then we're going on a two-week break because i will be in dallas texas for a pre dallas premiere of my uh documentary which is going to be very exciting it's at the women uh texas film festival so if you live in dallas texas you can come by and watch the film and say hi to me if you like <laughs> <laughs> hopefully i've been i've programmed in my phone the weather for dallas texas right yeah. so that i have it there and i'm so you're constantly staring at it every single day like oh my god 35 <laughs> degrees 36 <laughs> degrees but like every second day it's giving me like a health warning <laughs> An air quality warning oh, for Dallas, Texas, and I'm really dreading the heat. The right? heat. Yeah, you're not a know, hot weather person. Well, I am more than a cold, but not thirty. The high thirties. That's pushing it. That's hot. That's uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, in the forties, it's unbearable. Yeah. I've been in fifty. It's a dry heat. That's well, actually better. That is it good. is better. Yes. Than being in the humidity. I've been in a. We've been in an extremely dry heat at fifty. Um, when we were in Arizona. Oh, uh, in Arizona, in Phoenix. yeah. In Phoenix, yeah. That was almost intolerable. It's like being in an oven. Yeah, it's and like I, you open I, the door and it's like an oven. There are probably a fair number of Americans who relate to that because they live in places like that and they've, they've become acclimatized to it. But it's one of those one of those things where if you're not acclimatized to it, it's just shocking when you it step out into that heat. So. Yeah, sincerely um, shocking. I remember in, in Phoenix, um, because it was... For conference for me and and being in like a hotel room and they had a, a rooftop pool and i decided to go out there and I paint think i went out 
Uh, no, I went out there and I went to paint my toenails. I think, uh -oh. and the the, the polish dried like instantaneously. Don't make a mistake. It was crazy. Dry. It was dry. very warm. It was very 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 dry. But yeah, yeah. I don't know. You'll see. You'll find out what it's like. I'm sure. You'll, I want to see the temperature. I'm right sure now. you'll be indoors a lot. It's kind oh, of. Oh yeah, it's going yeah. from indoors to a car to indoors. Yeah, that is I'm for sure. sure. Remember to dodge the tornadoes, which are common there. I didn't know that was an issue in Dallas. Heat and tornadoes? Why are you guys scaring me? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. You'll be fine. You'll so, be fine. extended forecast. 36, 36, 36 at the uh, middle See, of next week. I look at that, I'm like, 35, 36. Yeah, that's hot. It could be 40. It could be worse. So, um, I think you could do worse. But you're not going to, he's not going to be leaving, leaving the indoor space. I so, the humidity, so. it says 32 and feels like 33. Which so is nothing. That means there's no humidity. Yeah, it's, that's yeah. nothing. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, anyway. lots of sunscreen. <laughs> lots of sunscreen yeah. and staying indoors in the air conditioning. Yes. Mm. And so I'll be in a theater or I'll be in the hotel or another room with air conditioning or a car with air conditioning. Mm. Um, so yeah, we'll be back on the uh, August 23rd after that, which is with Darcy again. So it's Darcy break Darcy. Darcy. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm hmm. Um, but uh, we'll be back next on Wednesday at the normal time, 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern, and what is it? 6, 6 p.m. Uh, GMT. Um, other than that, not too much else coming up that's planned. I'm just going to get some more games going in there. Don't know which one, which challenge I'm going to do next. I knew Pitfall was going to be easy. Um, because what did we do last time? Mega Mania. I did accomplish that in one. Hmm. What I've got queued up is Barnstorming, Enduro, Crack Pots, and Pressure Cooker. I have to go at again, but I'm really not looking forward it's to that. It's hard, yeah. I got yeah. just over halfway. Yeah, that's still a long hard, way to go. Yeah. Hard. So I'm just pushing that off for yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do um, a little bit of practicing, maybe. Enduro looks pretty challenging. That's driving, and you have to drive for five days. Um, okay. Not literal five no, days. No, I get that, but... Uh... Um, so I might do barnstorming next, because that's kind of one. But I have to complete three different things. But I'll, I'll look at it and see how, how crazy it is. Um, but that... Yeah, that, that would be for the show just before we take a little break. Mm. So, anyway, we're out of here. Um, hopefully everybody out there has a nice weekend. Yes. Uh, up here in Canada, it's it is a long a weekend. Long press, weekend, so, so we get Monday yay, off, which is exciting. No work. Um, so excited! I might uh, do uh, Boulder Dash again um, at some point shortly. Try and get through levels uh, one through four to make it to level five, because that's a, a break point that mm -hmm. you can start again on. So I might schedule that for next show. Um, or the show after. Yeah, we didn't get to play. No. Uh, we can do an impromptu, um, impromptu boulder dash. One. Oh, nobody watches the impromptu. <laughs> no one's be, around. It would just be for ourselves. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Um, I do want to play maybe, it, though. I haven't maybe, tried it. Or maybe, I can just... Well, maybe on Monday. Practice. You know? Yeah, never know. We'll see what uh, the schedule's like. Yeah. It's a pretty free weekend, yeah. I think. It's nice to have uh, an extra day off. So. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So... We're out of here. Yes. Until Wednesday. So yep. thanks Bye. for tuning in, everyone. Have a good night. And we'll see you next time. Have a good weekend. Time. Have a good weekend. See you on Wednesday. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.